Hold if on. this fails utterly, we could just try hosting it with somebody else. We could try that. But I think <laughs> I think we're okay. Are we okay, chat? Oh wait. We just Are we here? Believe, you know? Are we you guys? Yeah. Hello. <laughs> you just gotta believe. Hello. <laughs> when you Hello believe. out there. We see people. We hear I people. Know. Oh my god. Okay, well it only it I don't know only where took, any of my uh, windows are anymore. It only took more than an hour. I'm so mad. I'm so angry. I don't I'm even sorry, I don't I don't even have it in me to tell that dad joke that I said I was going to. I don't, <laughs> I don't have it in me. I think <laughs> Okay. It is all right. Okay. Yeah. Um. I need my D and D music. Hold on. All right. All right. I've got a dad joke for oh, chat. Yeah, let's though. Hear it. Ooh. Let's hear it. Which bear is the most condescending? That's right, chat. It's a pan. Duh! Ha ha ha! Yes! Because it's condescending. It's condescending so it's get it? All the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come yeah. on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Wait. Freaking, what the what crap is, is this what is emote? That emote? Wait a what minute. Is that emote? No, oh, I love what it. Is that emote? I, love it. I think I'm a. How did you do that, Willis? What? <laughs> Wait, what? That's amazing. That's beautiful. <laughs> what? Hold on. What? It's one of uh Oh no. That? I mean this is literally my face Samurai, right now. Samurai so. Nui's uh, emotes. <laughs> oh my god. It's, it's one of Will's <laughs> it's a it's a subscriber <laughs> emote for Will's channel. That's hilarious. What that the was crap? Amazing, yeah. <laughs> that was so good. <laughs> oh, I can't even hire it. Like, oh my Here, God. ghost, this is what I'll do. I'll just lower yourself down. A oh, bit. yeah, That's there cool. you go. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe that. I mean, we, we need a. Just start charging people the use of your face. I know. Well, yeah, yeah. I mean. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's interesting. So, wait, Collie didn't want to upload it, so he did? No, I mean, I didn't even know that this was a possibility. That's hilarious to me. <laughs> you mean you didn't know? Yeah, it was a we'll make a BTTV. So... That's a good idea. You know, I have, I supposedly have BTTV on my thing, but I don't know how. Oh, to it's, make a, it work. it's a pain to set up. It's not intuitive at all. Like, because yeah. I download that one and Frankerface. I download both of them. And, or right. Them both. Which. Which, by the way, while we're talking about it, Drea, can I make you the thing? I know you mentioned it last time, but if I put you in charge of that, that would be awesome. <laughs> I'll I'll get you all set up to manage that for me. Ooh, the thing. Oh yeah, editor. There oh. we go. <laughs> I feel so. My chair is down low now, and I feel. <laughs> <laughs> you feel short. Oh no. <laughs> You're getting in character. Feels, oh, yeah. feels short, man. <laughs> oh. All right. Well, usually we do an icebreaker, but should we just get let's right just get into right. it? Let's, I, let's I, kind I, of get right into I it. I feel okay. like we should. Uh, All right. Because oh my we're God, gonna, was, we're gonna yeah. be. Uh, yeah, we are back. Oh my God. Uh, yeah, we're gonna run short on time if we don't get into it. So, chat. I'm putting you. I'm putting you away. I'm putting you in your corner, chat. <laughs> Nobody puts chat in the after corner. you were so patient. Yeah. And... <laughs> thanks, thanks for waiting. Now shut up while we play. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> All right. Um, so once again, just reminding us about how our uh, little community engagement initiative works because uh, we can't really, we can't really. Um, focus on on uh chat while we play i hate this snapping uh however uh we do have a little bit of uh, a community engagement initiative uh where you can help us uh or or hinder the party uh, as the case may be in their adventures uh and so once again if you uh go on to my discord you will find a D and D channel, a text channel that has all the relevant info that you need, all the different tables and lists and things like that for this. 
but in terms of uh, bits donations to influence the campaign, 300 bits will find a useful mundane item for the party. Uh, 400 bits uh, will allow you to give a monster a minor mutation to make things more interesting for our heroes. Uh, for 500 bits, a major mutation to make things a lot more interesting for our heroes. Uh, that's a that's a favorite <laughs> of chat. Um, we still we still have one banked, uh, just so you know. Oh god. Yeah. Uh, for 600 bits, you can <laughs> compel a character's flaw, uh, which might be a pretty interesting one in this session. For 700 bits, you can grant inspiration to one player character, uh, helping them on their rolls in a clutch moment. And for 800 bits, you can force Flutter to roll on the Wild Magic Surge table, which is a table of random things that happen uh, often when Flutter's character uses magic uh, or when other things happen, such as somebody donates 800 bits. Um, right. <laughs> any instant kill bits? Right, <laughs> no. Uh, uh, the Wild Magic table hey, may be bad at some point because there is a chance that it summons an unbeatable monster yes it's true yes. <laughs> uh and so any uh any subscribers to my channel can create a custom npc no. or magic item of appropriate level to include in our campaign and we uh revealed a couple of fun ones last time uh yes i will delete the other vod <laughs> for sure uh and then you can, uh, if you if you want to send me the info, or if you have any questions about that one, you can DM me on Discord, and we'll make it happen. The triangle. Oh my. Oh <laughs> my goodness. Is that actually a thing? <laughs> Ghost. What is happening? What is that? Somebody's video is sticking Somebody's out above the uh, nameplate. Whose is it? You gotta. Is it? Fix I will that. fix it. Okay, it's not Collie's. It's my arm, though. It looks like it might be something else, but it is my arm. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's your arm, yeah. Mm -hmm. There. Done. Good Fixed. job. Fixed. Thank you. <laughs> uh... Oh my goodness. I'm so thrown off. I'm so thrown off today, guys. It's just, I know, so right? Thrown. We're, we're sorry, left turn from everything uh, today. What is what is leader doing in the roll twenty chat? I don't pushing, know. Like what the crap Twitch is happening? Prime. What is, what are you doing? What are you doing? Leader's shilling for uh, shilling. Well, technically, Goldrell is shilling for Twitch. shilling for Jeff Bezos here. Okay. Later, do your damn homework yeah, or your, actually yeah, get either, in there. Either play with yeah. us or do your homework. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Don't tease yeah. us. Jeez. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, when last we left off... You have off, a speech to make if you join us. <laughs> yeah, we have, a, we have a speech ready for you. That's you literally true. don't know how to do the work? Then get in here. What are you doing? <laughs> like, then get the in heck? here. I'm working wait for like 4 a.m. leader. Come on. <laughs> Just like I used to do. It's okay. <laughs> Take it from us. We're all your elders. We know what's <laughs> best for you. Oh, man. We, oh, you I need to open an eye for Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, how do... People. Oh. We're very lucky that people in chat like us so much. Hold on. I know, oh, right? I know. Okay. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> this is the proof right uh, here. Woof. We'd be streaming to a whole Leader, lot of no one yeah. if they did. <laughs> Leader says that he's waiting for someone to let him in, but I can't see in my window how to. Okay, admit. <gasps> it's there Leader. Is, now we're all messed up. Now all the cameras are messed up. <laughs> okay. Hey. Congratulations. Oh no, I can hear myself through the Twitch shush. Oh, I stayed in the right place though. Yeah, you stayed in the right place. So, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna we're gonna make this oh, fancy. We can see the bubble of me talking. Yeah. No. 
No, you're in the right place. It's, it's, so it's Wolf it's, Cam it's, 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 that I need to move. <laughs> Andrea. <laughs> the thing that, is, that, though, that, hmm? yeah. Does does Leader sound like he's underwater? Leader does kind of sound like he's underwater. A little bit. Okay, Leader, are you playing Subnautica right now? I <laughs> swear, <laughs> man. <laughs> right. Uh, All right. Uh, Boy, guys, I'm gonna be through this whole bottle of wine before we even start. <laughs> <laughs> Kiona get water in that hey, that sounds much better, leader. Oh no, do I, Megan? Shoot. Uh, it, okay, uh, yeah, I have to be like uh, right in front of it. Ghost. Me. What? <laughs> I close the stream before everyone sees my name. Oh, you can make me smaller. Uh, I didn't realize your name was on there. Oh shoot, it is. Oh, my God. <laughs> Well, we'll delete. We'll delete this mod too. It's fine. <laughs> oh god. Where's Polly, do I have only, permission? Only like six more before we have to. Before how do, we how do I? Work. How do I? Okay. Collie, now that they've seen the name, do I have permission to do something? No. 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 How do I? No, because I've got to change the like. I I don't know what I'm gonna do. I might have to download all the videos and. Re-upload them on the Call of Flumps. Because, like, I'm not able to change my name or whatever. Really? I don't know. It won't let me. I have no idea. Maybe it's because I made it, like, so long ago. I have no idea. Okay. I think... Actually, a lot of people a lot of people have been doing more, uh... Using their real name for stuff, so it's not as bad. Back you just don't want to share more than that. No, no, no. Yeah, and the thing is, like, I don't care. But, like, no, no, you know, no, 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 other no. people live in the house with me that I can't right. make that decision. Yeah. That's, yeah. Anyway. Um, That's fair enough. If it was just you and Vine, it's we would probably... streams number this one. Is... <laughs> okay. So, well. Flutter Cam is okay. How did you have it before where my name was, like, not there? I, I, just, ha I just have your... I just have the window shaped to not have your name in yeah it. he just yeah because it's just in the bottom it the bottom left oh right okay okay that and i need to do that i think we're good finally i think we're good enough i good think enough. we're good enough, good enough. all right <laughs> leader there's a speech in our discord chat that has been prepared for you to read uh so Last time, yeah. last time we left off. Don't read this stuff in italics. No, that's, that's action that's stuff. Stage direction. I, yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm not an imbecile. imbecile. I know how these <laughs> It's pronounced imbecile. Hey. You might need to know that. Um, hey, yeah. go. Um, as far as I can tell, I'm I... watching your stream, and like my name's kind of still down there, and I'm sort of off to the one side. Oh, I... it is a little bit. Am still I saying like out. an old? No, version? no, you're not. No, you're oh, not. Okay. Okay. But you can you can enlarge me and yeah. just, you know, whatever. Yeah. Anyway. Can Snozberries drop a Kiona bomb? Sure, what? why not? Why why Nani? why the Have hell that. why Have the that. hell not? Cheers, why the Snoz. hell not? <laughs> just throw it out there. Kali, I'm so sorry. I, I'm like <laughs> I'm like yeah. <laughs> trying to get rid of your name and it's just like sitting on there. I didn't realize it was there. Oh my god. <laughs> That's all good. Uh jeez. There it is. Frick. Okay. Uh oh. Yeah, it's just Google's gobbling everything up, like Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. If if Discord only didn't use like sixty percent of my CPU, this wouldn't have been a problem. Uh, yeah, <laughs> really, I know. <laughs> Crazy. And why anyway. all of a sudden? That's yeah. so I weird. know. It's so I don't bizarre. Know. And it's only in the video call because as soon as I ended the video call, my CPU went from idling at ninety five percent to twenty percent. How so, bizarre. Anyway. So last time we left well, off, we're, we got it now. Oh yeah. Last time we left off, uh, our heroes took a mission from uh, the the mayor of uh, the refugee camp, formerly known as Black Cross, uh, and, and this mission was to head out to uh, to scout out ahead of the caravan 
find any sort of dangers that were lurking out there for you uh, and uh, prevent the the uh, caravan's movement from being interrupted uh, and, and endangered. Um, you encountered a ruined tower on a hilltop that was occupied by a group of pirates who were down on their luck. They had no ship anymore. Uh, and their gigantic hyena, uh, <laughs> which you successfully fought off uh, a few a few strange mutations later as, the, as this strange wind uh, blows through and continues to, to mutate uh, monsters. And for the first time, a human being, right before your very eyes, uh, you managed to defeat the uh, captain of the pirate band and his uh, elven mage assistant Tinkerbell uh, and <laughs> Drea I am putting chat away good night Snaz I'm putting chat away <laughs> uh, you successfully beat the pirate captain and his uh, half elf mage sidekick uh, Tinkerbell uh, which was an NPC created by none other than Enlightened by Bravery. Uh, well, the name was anyway. Um, and now, uh, your your wounds uh, on the mend, your your pride soaring high from your victory, your pockets heavy with silver and magic items galore that you found in the pirate stash. Uh, you return back to your caravan. Um, when you arrived, you were welcomed as heroes, uh, and people were, you know, throwing flowers to you, and, uh, they, they heard and they saw the commotion up at the hill, uh, and, and, uh, very soon that evening as the caravan set down for the evening and the, the wagons were opened up, uh, into, into the form of shops and ta like pop-up taverns, uh, there's a, a pop-up stage for, for music. Uh, the whole thing took on a, a sort of festival-like atmosphere. Uh, and uh, the, the residents of, of your refugee camp, knowing that they have a hard road ahead and there's many uh, trials and travails that everybody is going to have to deal with, uh, decided that they would kick off their journey with a celebration. For the first time in a long time, your people have hope. Uh, and with you, the warg slayers, uh, as uh, you know, as as uh, local heroes, who's going to help and, and pave the way uh, for your caravan, uh, you were in no short supply of people who wanted to buy you a drink. And so, for the first couple days, because we're we're talking this is a big old festival, for the first couple days. Uh, people are breaking out the, the food, they're breaking out the wine and the ale, uh, and, and things, you know, a little bit stronger than that. Uh, and you folks just had a, an absolutely rump roarous time. Uh, now this is what we call a, uh, a, a carousing task, uh, during your downtime. And so basically you're out there, you're drinking, you're gambling, you're partying, you're meeting people. Uh, and so I took the liberty of rolling on a few of our uh, a few of our tables uh, to oh, see what boy. happened beforehand. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and I came up with some some interesting results uh, that I, I think would be I think it would be a lot of fun to uh, role play out. Uh, and so I'm sorry, leader. <laughs> <laughs> No, I knew this was coming. I chose yes. this. I gave, oh, that's true. I that's gave true. The other option was not. Yeah, the great. other option was even worse <gasps> than this. Uh, <laughs> 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 All right, Mazra and Foodle, you quickly get swept up in uh, the the furious gambling that's happening uh, at this party. You uh, Ooh, so what? What's your? Let's start with. Uh, let's start with uh, Foodle. Foodle, what's your game? Are you dice? Are you cards? Are you like shells? Uh, Poodle is dice. <laughs> wait, sorry. Uh, so dice, cards, or shells? Yeah. Uh, well, it, no, uh, oh, out of out of uh, that's off the top of my head. Uh, right. Uh, what's, your, what's your gambling game? Uh, 
Yeah, food likes dice. Dice. dice is... Okay. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> also, Holly's um... Loading. Sorry, sorry. I was trying to think like what makes the most sense for a forest gnome. I think dice probably makes a lot of sense. Now, here's my question though: If I'm doing some gambling, did we ever divvy up any of the money from last time? Because I'm, I spent all. I am flat broke. I, I bought out the whole That's supply right. of weed. We've like like six hundred and fifty silver. Yeah. Right. I did. So we would have divided that evenly amongst yeah. us, right? Is there a way to divide 65 between four people well, we evenly? We can divide 650 uh, between four people. About okay. 16 per person. Okay. 16 gold per person. If I do uh, 650 divided one by one person four, gets like 17. Everybody gets 162.5 silver. So everybody gets 16 Ooh. gold, 2 silver, okay. and 5 copper, if I'm correct in my conversion tables 16 gold Wait, that, that sounds right two to me. silver and five copper okay that's the gp in the in the character sheet right yes, like yes, i'm not yes, yes. i'm not yes, imagining gp this? sp and C. so 16 gold that brings me to what 28 yep such a treasure from last time i've got a math you guys and this is hard <laughs> 16 gold <laughs> <laughs> Two silver <laughs> and five copper. I don't I'm see a it. copper. Oh wait, is copper on the left? And C what is the EP? It's in a weird order. Why is this in yeah. weird order? <laughs> put put twenty in the EP slot. We're not gonna use we're not gonna use EP and we're not gonna use PP. <laughs> single, what was it? How many silver? Two. I love you guys. This is a PG rated, PG rated stream. This is she's got to ingratiate oh, herself to this. Two silver, for God's sake. I said <laughs> copper. Do I need to put this in chat? I swear. <laughs> Listen, I asked for copper, not silver. He's yelling at someone else. <laughs> Five copper. Hey, yeah, it's me. Five copper. It's me. Five copper. Five. Okay. Good. I'm rich. <laughs> All right. So Thank you, you uh, Thank you. Foodle, you're you're gambling. Uh, I would I would like. Uh, oh my God! I actually got it wrong. We're going with it. We're rolling with it. Okay. Uh, Foodle, I would like you. <laughs> I would like you. I would like you to uh, roll. Uh, okay. I'd like you to roll four d six. All right. Ooh. Ooh, it actually, it actually rolled moderately well. Uh, it's not too terrible. But uh, your opponent, a uh, rather large and, and burly uh, dwarf, uh, by the name of oh my god, I need to pull, I need to pull this document up. Uh, by the name of Brunor Blue Jacket, uh, he's a he's a dwarf with sort of a this. And he wears a blue jacket, uh, but he's a, a male dwarf. Uh, he's sort of got balding, balding head. He's got a, some some curly wisps of hair combed over, and like a, a really obvious and bad comb over. Uh, and out of his out of the front of his tunic, there's like this stringy rug of like chest hair. He he just looks like a sleazy guy. Um, and you know him to be a little bit of a, a a little bit of a sketchy character within the caravan. Uh, he rolls his dice uh, and comes up on top of you. Uh, but you, uh, I would like you to roll a perception. Okay. Uh, so he rolls his dice. I was about to say I want to insight check this guy to see if I can tell if oh, he's yeah. cheating or not. <laughs> okay, so perception. Yeah. Dice, the, the spots off the dice, yeah. and he's like, I remember oh, where they yeah. were. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, you you notice oh, that yeah. you know as the die as the one die lands, it lands on like a two, uh, and then just sort of does this physics-defying flip over to a six, <laughs> uh, and you see this you see this straight up. And you're, you're rather drunk. I'm not that high you're yet. Rather, you're rather... <laughs> or, uh, you're rather drunk. Yeah. I'm not yet. that drunk. Yeah. Yet. Get these dice out of here. And Brunor, he, he just sort of looks taken aback. And he's just... He's just like, What are you accusing me of? 
boy. You're, you're cheating. A, from bro. You're cheating at dice. Cheating? I just yes. Cheating? And Brunar. Sure. Like, let me roll that stands dice. Stands up. Brunar stands up and he tips the table over. <laughs> uh, uh, Foodles. A foodle's gonna pull out his uh, dagger. Brunar, Brunar, you don't want to do this. <laughs> I cleaned out an entire uh, group of bandits with some help, sure, but <laughs> you pulling a dagger on me, little boy? Sure, you're going down. <laughs> Brunar uh, draws his own dagger. Uh. Is, any, is anyone else here? <laughs> like, you're, you're surrounded. Are we you're nearby? Surrounded. You're, you guys aren't nearby. You guys are not we're nearby. You're not nearby. No. Uh, and so you're just surrounded by you. this tight this tight press of people uh, crowding around, and they're just starting to cheer, and they're like, you just hear this sound, and people are yelling, fight! Fight! All right. <laughs> uh, roll right. initiative, Collie. All right. Oh, good Protect lord. Yeah, go down. Oh my god. You're all ready. <laughs> oh, oh god. An initiative of Perfectly four. balanced okay. as all things should be. Oh no. I, I rolled roll. a one. Oh, you rolled a one? Okay, that's an automatic fail. Unless I rolled a one. <laughs> oh, no. I'm going to roll a quick d20. <laughs> it is not a one. Okay. <laughs> so, Brunor, uh, he, takes, he takes a lunge at you with his dagger. Um... There you go, eleven. No. Now are you are you in your armor right now? I don't even know if I'm wearing armor. I think it's just my sort of. I was gonna say if we're carousing, you're probably not. You're wearing not. Armor. Yeah, we're gonna say yeah. you're not in your armor, which your armor is. Oh, you have a you have a plus three bonus to dexterity. So yeah. You're. Yeah. I don't know how armor yeah, works. No, sorry. <laughs> I, no, I got it. I got it. No, that's uh, you. You easily, you easily sort of avoid that. You, you know, uh, maybe you dodge out of the way. You parry with your dagger. All right, you're up. All right, uh, I'm going to. What am I gonna do here? What are you doing? What, what are you kill? doing? What are you doing? <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> I don't Language want to kill this guy. But... Language proficiency. <laughs> All right, we're doing it. We're going in. Oh my god, yeah. We're gonna teach this guy a lesson. There we go. Oh yeah. So you <laughs> you come in you come in at him and you you just sort of skitter away from uh, the knife and you come in and you just stab right in uh, and he he takes it and he's just oh! and he and he falls back and he's on the ground rolling ground. Oh! And he like throws his <laughs> knife and it just sort of skitters away into the crowd. Uh, no, more. no more cheating at dice. And you hear that well, you hear these, you. these heavy boots on the ground and and two burly men wearing the tattered uh, the tattered remains of what were the militia uniforms coming in. All right, what's this said? Oh, little no, what you up to there? And they just he go ahead. Brunor was cheating at dice. Here, these were the dice he was using. You roll them. Those were his dice! Yes, exactly. Oh, yeah, Brunor was saying, was saying that. that. Yeah, those oh, were his oh, okay. dice! And he stabbed me when I called him on it! Foodle's gonna turn to the crowd. Alright, uh, who's gonna come to, you know, you guys all saw, I'm helping the caravan out. Who's gonna back me up? Goodness all sake. Right. It's it's Brunor! He's a cheat! Roll, you guys know better than persuasion. this. Okay. Oh, gosh. Can't wait oh, for the critical veil. Yeah, Maybe I don't like think I... Oh, no, I'm not very good at persuasion. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no! What? <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> oh, my God. This is what Rule 20 is going to do to us tonight, you guys. <laughs> Be prepared. Oh, no! Oh, God. It's a fail day. All right, oh, yeah. every everybody, like every single person in the crowd, they're just like, oh, I can't can't recall who rolled that die. I, <laughs> they look all the <laughs> dice look the same. 
and uh, yeah. the two the two militiamen just sort of clap you on the shoulder in a strong grip, and they're like, "All right, Foodle, come this way with us. You've had a little bit too much to drink, maybe a bit too much to smoke as well. Oh, we'll put you we'll put you in the tank for the night. You've had enough party in for one day." And they sort of lead you oh, out, and the other militiaman no. sort of dr- like picks up uh, picks up Brunor, arm over his shoulder, and it's like, "All right, you're coming with us as well until we sort this out." Uh, and they kind of. <laughs> How much money do I lose, by the way? Um, you are put in. Because the pot's just sitting there, I'm assuming. Yeah. Right on the table. Just... Or, oh, or no. on the ground at this oh, point, no. right? <laughs> Take <a minute>. okay. <laughs> Oh my the god. The crowd just uh, picks it up that's near them. Well they they uh we're we're gonna, we're gonna, gonna say we're up. gonna say <laughs> we're gonna say you don't lose anything in the pot. Um but okay. Okay. you are thrown in the tank uh for the night and there's there sixteen gold, two silver and five yeah, copper. And there there is a Injustice! Damn you bastards <laughs> <laughs> Uh and they, they they bring you to uh, to to like literally the paddy wagon uh, because they, they need like a mobile prison uh, for this town, yeah. uh, and they sort of throw you in they throw you in a cage in the in the paddy wagon uh, on the oh, like far on the other side from Brunor, who they've also like they patched him up, and then he comes back a few moments later, uh, all patched up, and they put him in the they put him in another cage well away from you. Uh, so you guys are well away from each other, and he's just sort of groaning and oh, oh, I'll see you in court for this. And you get the impression that he's kind of <laughs> hamming it up a little bit. Like you, you only, you only gave him a bit of a poke. You're pretty sure, but he's here. He's here, like oh. Oh, I think he's gonna show up with a neck brace. I think, right? I think yeah. I've suffered a disability. You're telling no, me, right? Like he's you're, you're telling me, Brunor's a Karen. <laughs> is what you're telling me, Brunor. <laughs> we've got this. Isn't the first time, and it won't be the last. Get some rest, buddy. <laughs> All right, and and you uh, spend the rest of the evening in jail, and you're you're just gonna have to you're just gonna have to rot. Damn there. it. <laughs> um. <laughs> Fiona, you were the one that I rolled gambling for. For Foodle, I rolled you are jailed for the night on charges of disorderly conduct and disrupt- disturbing the peace. <laughs> hey, Bruno, I, why? That's what I got, no, for, that's what I got for you. Yeah, I had to. I had to pivot from from gambling to that. <laughs> Um, oh Kiona, you also got to gambling, but you're at a you're at a different table, and you know the you, you hear in the distance the the roar of the crowd as as uh, Foodle and and Brunor are fighting. Uh, Brunor, by the way, NPC made by Andy Pantaloons, uh, I believe. So that was a lot of fun. Oh, yeah. fantastic! I have a, nice. I have a whole Thanks, I have a whole list of a whole bunch of NPCs that we made. Um, I love it. I can't wait to see yeah. them all. Um, I think it was Andy that made that one. Uh, but you you hear Kiona, the roar of the crowd, and and it's just uh, an absolute bedlam over there. But it's like the fifth time you've heard something like this, and you have no idea that it's Foodle at that table. The, the crowd is too big and, and pressed in that you can't see. So you just kind of ignore it. Uh, what's your game? Ah, poker, of course. Poker, all right. <laughs> yeah. So you're Texas Hold'em. Texas Hold'em. There's no, <laughs> there's no, te- there's no Texas. There's no Texas. Whatever <laughs> version of that is in his world. Yeah. <laughs> oh wait, where were we? I- Ilian. Ilian. Ilian Hold'em. Ilian Hold'em. <laughs> there you go. You learned, you learned it from the elves, right? You learned it from the elves. <laughs> it's a refined game, they assure you. Riven- Rivendell, Rivendell Hold'em. Hold'em. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, Kiona, you you uh, you're playing at this card game, and and you're kind of uh, you're not quite sweeping the board, but you give as good as you get uh, in this, and then um, you're you're on your final hand, uh, and suddenly the the excitement just sort of builds inside you and your heart is beating faster and your pulse is racing oh, no. as you're excited oh, no. because you're sure that you have a winning hand here 
uh, and you're you're about to uh, you're about to what's the term call I guess you're about to call, and um, yeah. and you feel a surge of wild magic course through you. Uh, so please roll on the wild magic table. Oh, that we had that one. Why do I keep rolling that one? Yeah, what the heck? What is what is that one again? Is that the regen one? Oh no, that one's uh, resistance to all damage for the next minute. Resistance so. to all damage for the next minute. That's cool. I can get it at bar fight now. Okay. That would be great. Yeah, and so the the, the brawl uh, where they carried away Foodle, uh, some other people who are very very drunk and very excited, they you know they're a bit disappointed at the way that the uh, the militia broke up that fight, so they decided to start a fight themselves. Uh, and so there just a brawl erupts in the wake of Foodle and Brunor being carried away. Uh, and, and a shoe sails through the air like this w big wooden clog and it hits you straight on the head, <laughs> but you like feel nothing, right? You feel nothing. Okay. Uh, but the, but the clog, it bounces off your head and right into the face of the dude that you're playing against or one of the dudes that you're playing against at the table and he and he falls back and ah, and he's like there's holding his nose and there's like blood coming out and it's come on man and then the other people at the table are just oh are you okay are you okay and everybody's distracted uh except for you uh what do you do I'm sorely tempted to just take the pot and go, but <laughs> uh, uh, I will. I will make sure that the man across from me is okay because I've had too many drinks myself, oh, and okay. I feel like maybe it was my fault somehow because I'm clumsy like that. <laughs> and, and so uh, I will check on the man. All right. That I'm gambling against, but I will hmm. tuck my cards into my shirt <laughs> so that no one can see that. Okay, yeah. <laughs> and make sure he's all, all right. right. So, you all right? So he's not able to play anymore. He's just, oh, I think my nose is broken. And, and you know, his buddies sort of pat him on the shoulder and see him off. And he's got to withdraw from the game. Uh, when when the cards are all revealed uh you find that he would have uh he would have beaten your hand uh but he's not in the game anymore and so the pot goes to you and uh you uh recuperate your lifestyle expenses we're going to go into lifestyle expenses in a, in a moment uh, but you recuperate your lifestyle expenses uh for the time that you're spending carousing and you gain 72 gp on top of it so you nice. you mopped up i guess we know who's buying all this yeah. stuff <laughs> i know it is a random roll and it's wow. and it's described as uh modest modest winnings from gambling oh. but then it tells me wow. what to roll and 72 was the number that came up all right all right so yeah i don't know I feel like I could have uh, I could have fudged that down a little bit maybe, but I didn't. <laughs> so, so there we are. Considering it's more than we got from, from actual, the dungeon, from actual adventure, I know. like literally. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's whatever. <laughs> Kiona will put it to good use. I promise. I've, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've said it. I've said it. I put it out in the wild. So that's what's happening. Can't go back on that. That's head. right. Um. Next up is where's my document? Next up is uh, Mazra. Mazra, you are also gambling. Uh, at first for last. Huh? Oh, we're, we're, all we're just... gonna save you for last. <laughs> <laughs> we're all just, like, compulsive gamblers. All right, this Mazra, could... what's your game? Um. Well. To be honest, she would probably also do cards, if not poker, just because okay. she knows that people cheat and she and anything that's like a machine or shells or anything like that can very easily be manipulated. Right. 
So it's a little bit harder to uh, do that with car- a little bit harder to do that with cards, right. but she I think she's well aware of right. that. She's playing twenty one. <laughs> All right. So while you're uh, so while you're playing this, uh, the the mood around your uh, your table is much different from the other two. It's much less rowdy uh, because you are on a hot streak, like a hot streak, the likes of which uh, the people around here have never seen before. And they're, they're like silent, right? And when someone comes up running, there's, there's a fight over there. There's a fight. And then everybody else turns and (laughs) and everybody is like watching you and this hulking, uh, Goliath uh, playing playing cards. This this huge Goliath, sort of bald bald headed, big red beard coming down. He's got these big wide round rim spectacles perched on the tip of his nose, and it's almost comical. <laughs> uh, you're a large person as well, being a half orc, right? But it's almost comical to see this giant of a of a being um, just sort of sat on a tree stump across from you and, and, and holding the cards uh they they look like you know little little business cards like this uh in their hands um and he uh they they lay down the cards you're playing 21 right okay they lay down uh, yeah i guess they so. lay down the cards Nineteen. Hit it. And you lay down yours. <laughs> now, are are you playing this game honestly or not? Um. Yeah. yeah. I think so. You lay down oh, your wow. cards. She's not always the worst. All right. <laughs> just, just sometimes. Just sometimes the worst. You lay down your cards, and it's a twenty. And. <gasps> Everybody around you just erupts and there's like, whoa! <laughs> they cannot believe it because you've just demolished everybody this evening. Uh, and so you also recuperate your lifestyle expenses for the time you spent carousing. Uh, and you gain 150 gold pieces. <laughs> Holy crap! 150. You... You uh, you critted you critted on your roll to, to, for what happened. It's about time. You critted on your roll for what happens at this point. Yeah, you you just like master <laughs> crit on a roll that they can. Oh, wait, oh like wait a minute. I mean, I know oh, this is totally out of character. Foodle's yeah. in jail, but like we're not fuck going on adventures this is Stan Campbell this is insane like what what the crap we just made these these, we just made on our adventure these like where they all went to Vegas and counted these rolls so these these rolls that Kiona and Mazar rolled are like they topped the scale like (laughs) Yeah. Didn't we just tell Greco we didn't have that kind of money to pay him and like we're we did. Well, yeah, you <laughs> did. like two hundred gold you just didn't. to gamble money you didn't. and then also <laughs> now you do. <laughs> it's true. At the time we didn't. It's true. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna get in touch with Greco and like give him back some of his cash. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's just give him back his what yeah, was right. sixty something gold or whatever, <laughs> right? <laughs> Jeez, that's insane. <laughs> uh, and and the the gigantic Goliath that you're sitting across from as as the the crowd dies down and the, and the pats on your back, everybody pats you on the back, uh, and the giant Goliath slowly looms to their feet and slides the pot over towards you. And then reaches out a giant meaty paw and says, Well played. <gasps> she will uh, put out her hands. And depending on, does he extend, which hand does he extend? It, 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 right it, right it is a day. It is a day. Yeah, sorry. Um, the, the, uh, the, the, I don't know. Whichever, whichever hand allows you to shake with your, uh, with your, with your natural. Right. Hand. Yeah. yeah, so she'll she'll extend extend her hand to them and uh, give a little nod and say, "Well played to you as well." 
Hope to see you around again sometime. I had lots of fun. Likewise. Right. And the Goliath turns <laughs> and sort of uh, with a with a odd sort of grace that belies their hulking size sort of melts back into the crowd and, and wanders off in search of another drink. Uh, now. Recruit that guy. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, now it's at this point that you you three uh, kind of notice uh, that Foodle's gone missing because we need Foodle for the next part. Wait. Uh, oh yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> Jailbreak. My bad. <laughs> All right. Uh, and as you go around talking to people, you you hear that that uh, the little redheaded gnome has with the that that likes to carry around the musket. Uh, has been thrown in the thrown in the uh, prison wagon for drunk and disorderly con conduct. Uh, he's he's uh, he stabbed Bruno right in the gut. I think well, I don't know that. Uh, I'm gonna shout for Bruno myself. Gonna... He's cheated a dice. <laughs> he cheated a dice. He pulled a knife on right. me. Yeah, you hear this little voice. <laughs> in the distance <laughs> just screaming from, from... <laughs> how drunk is Foodle by the way oh, God. Foodle. none of us have heard you <laughs> like really drunk or buzzed well, or like buzzed, buzzed enough buzzed okay. enough for you to He's not, like, get in a fight or anything. And, no you're not yeah you're not like slurring okay. and staggering or anything okay all right all right yeah you hear this little voice in the distance Ah, oh, and <laughs> Keon is like, ah, uh, I knew that loud mouth of his would get him in trouble at some point. <laughs> As if it hasn't already. <laughs> he like heads toward the, wherever that is, the door and the, that to try to see if she can fish him out of the clink. Mm. <laughs> okay. And as you, uh, as you approach... Uh, as you approach, you you see a uh, uh, militiaman sort of uh, sat sat in a chair, arms crossed, head bowed like this, sort of nodding off to sleep like this. Uh, and as you approach, he kind of jerks his head up and what? Hey, what can I do for you two? Uh, I believe you got one of our friends in there. Oh yeah, uh, food. I would like to see if there's any way we can. Uh... Free him? Oh, is Ma it measures there, right? Yeah. So be like, um, we have a, we need to, um, the mayor's called for him, so we need to get him out of there right now. Well, well, uh, he was being a little bit of a pest out there. Or he's got a fine on him. I suppose if you pay off his fine, uh, he can be let go. Well, how much is it? Ten gold pieces. For drunken disorder. Oh, I got that. You can have that. <laughs> Kiana just ponies it okay. right up. <laughs> okay. She's feeling real loose with yeah. it right now. <laughs> Remove 10 gold from your inventory. Got it. <laughs> right. Thank you. Thank you, Kiana. The, uh, the militiaman sort of pulls I'm... out a key ring after pocketing the gold and, and unlocks the little skate, opens up. And now, uh, you be good out there, little buddy. I hope you've uh, learned your lesson. Of course. <laughs> All right. And yeah. tell Brunor to stop cheating at dice, will ya? <laughs> <laughs> All right. And they let you go. Cut to uh, Goldrill. Uh, who, uh, Goldrill, what's, what's, your, uh, what's Goldrill's experience with alcohol? Uh, I would imagine he only has some during like festivals at his old shrine, so not a lot. Not a lot. Well, you've you've suddenly found the people around you to be uh, very generous, uh, and and uh, <laughs> there are all sorts of people at at uh, you know at at that sort of pop up, uh, the pop up tavern, uh, whose name. 
escapes me right now. I have it right here. Uh, the Drunken Dragon, fittingly enough. Uh, nice. <laughs> wow. A tavern called the Drunken Dragon, which is uh, which is uh, oh, this yeah. this wagon that the one wall has sort of popped open. Um, and and there's a uh, you've been you were attracted to it by the uh, carving of a dragon's head mounted to the upper front of the wagon uh, with smoke billowing out. It seems to serve as the chimney of this establishment. And you, you found it quite curious that somebody would design a, a tavern this way. Uh, and you, you find people just throwing drinks at you. You know, the, you're, you're one of the warg slayers. They, you know, they, they cannot, it, it's an honor for them to buy you a drink. Uh, and so uh, you being sort of the, the very, um, you've, you've, uh, Goldrill, correct me if I'm wrong, but Goldrill struck me as a very sort of polite and well-mannered kind of, uh, like a, like a little bit of a people pleaser, maybe. Uh, and, and perhaps, Usually. yeah, and perhaps you felt, uh, you felt like you, you couldn't really, uh, you felt obligated to accept all of these gifts. Uh, and, and so you, you know, before you knew it, you're drinking one after another, after another. And, uh, you know, there's people. Uh, sidling up to you and hey, you, well, you are an, an, uh, an apprentice of uh, of, of uh, you're a follower of the, that storm dragon, aren't you? So female mm -hmm. dwarf says, uh, "Well, well, have I got the drink for you? Uh, this is our specialty, the storm dragon's fury," uh, and and hands you. Uh, what is essentially a dark and stormy so it's like a it's like a black strap rum with uh, with some some ginger beer some some sort of citrus uh, citrus concoction uh, and and I'll pretend like I know what you're talking about there you go yeah <laughs> <laughs> and you drink it down and it's it's uh, it's sweet it's citrusy it's got you know a little bit of like a, a vanilla y caramel -y kind of finish to it it's, it's absolutely delightful uh, and it doesn't taste that much of alcohol at all. Uh, and, uh, you know, this, this, uh, female dwarf, she's just slinging them your way over and over and over again. Uh, and before you know it, you're starting to, you're starting to feel a little bit, uh, under the influence. Uh, and it's at this point, uh, as, as, uh, the, the dwarven woman, uh, and then a, a male dwarf, uh, and then, and then another uh, uh, female human. Are, are they're kind of surrounding you, and they're they're flying you with booze. Uh, and then uh, finally, um, the dwarven woman. She stands on top of the bar. She says, hey, "Attention, everyone! Attention, everyone! We've got here none other than the leader of the Warg Slayers." The captain of the troop himself, and everybody's just, whoa, really? And they're and they're all drunk too, right? Like everybody's just sloppy around, uh, oh and they're gosh. and they're just like, oh, and they're and they're just whispering, it's, it's, it's him. I did, I thought, I thought the half orc was the leader, but it's it's the dragon. <laughs> there's sort of there's sort of like everybody thought somebody else was the leader uh but but as soon as the the dwarven woman says it's you uh you know in their eyes oh it must be true if you all not said so uh and and uh this female dwarf named yolmik uh turns to you and just say you know as the captain of this intrepid band keeping our lovely community safe and the road clear for us it would be so inspiring for the masses of people if you would say a few words and then everybody around is just toast 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 <laughs> uh and you three hear off in the distance toast 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 and you and you're a little bit curious about what's happening so we're kind of cutting back we to should. the three of you there. Well, we, we will. Go. I will wander toward that and be like, "Hey, hey, there's something happening here." Foodle's gonna Foodle's gonna run over there. Just, <laughs> just, 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 just straight run. up. Foodle doesn't want to miss Carol. anything. Come on, you guys, let's go. 
<laughs> it was just like, come on, there's some sort of celebrity up there. <laughs> we should meet him. Never <laughs> mind. <laughs> All right, uh, Goldrill, are you are you ready to give your toast? No. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, so Flutter, Flutter wrote. Uh, I, I know you see. I you you seen it. Flutter wrote you a little monologue here. We weren't sure if you're going to be joining us tonight. You can you can <laughs> yeah, improvise. You can add yeah, you can ad lib your own if you want to. You're more than welcome. Yeah. To. Yeah. Yeah. We were just going off. This is pretty, pretty funny. Okay. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> All right, leader. I'd say the only maximum. If if you don't go ahead. Um, I'm yeah, gonna change, edit it a little maybe, bit. Yeah. Well, I'm not. Yeah. I'm not gonna change the words. I'm just gonna make it so I don't read the like cues. Okay. Yeah. No, that's that's fine. That's fine. Um... <laughs> it's just gonna be a uh, leader a minute here. <laughs> Uh, Foodle's yeah. trying to find us his way through the crowd, those, like, the trying audience, to run between I, legs. And... I like threw a couple of sentences together right before we were supposed <laughs> to start the original stream, and it's not really that polished. No. So, no. <laughs> okay, so for the stage directions, do you want me to like like describe what he's doing yeah. for the stage yeah. directions? Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, sure. Yeah, yeah. You just interject. In your in your normal voice, a little bit, and yeah. God, I'm not ready for this. <laughs> <laughs> Embrace, Embrace it. it. It's okay. <laughs> exactly. The public speaking is not my strong suit, oh, listen, even if it's in role playing. Listen, man, it's not. It's not my strong suit either. You know what? Honestly, though, leader, this is perfect because you're drunk anyway, right? <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> <sighs> okay. I think. All right. <laughs> I don't know. You can do it. Okay. You can do it. Just run at it yeah. like head first. <laughs> okay. All right. So, crowds hyping it crowds up. Toast, it toast, up. toast, 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 toast to me. Toast. The only one in this group of halfwits that has any idea what they're doing. You do great. You do great. <laughs> this is beautiful. It's, it's amazing. <laughs> this little dimwit here. He now points to Foodle. Insists on trying to get us killed with his loud mouth. And that half point, now pointing at Kiona. With all of her out of control magic, equally likely to get us killed <laughs> by her own hand. <laughs> this is no, difficult. you can do it. You can do it. You're doing great. You're doing it's doing amazing. Great. Do it. <laughs> and how did this imp and now stumbles toward Mazra <laughs> get into this party at all? Speaking of nincompoops. How did the mayor decide to recruit any of them in the first place? And <laughs> there was Brown. He was upside down. Laughing up the whiskey on the floor. Kiona starts to sing. Booze, booze. Booze, the, the fireman, fireman cried. <laughs> I was like, hey, knock on the door. <laughs> oh, wait, I'm trying to distract okay. from, from where the game is clearly going. <laughs> Yeah, and as and as he, and as uh, Goldrill is is like ramping up, right, and and falling more and more into like and and one more thing, right, uh, the crowd as as he's just dishing out the insults on people uh, is is just they're getting more and more hyped up, and as soon as he says the word mayor, they're just like, Whoa! and then the female dwarf on the bar just looks like. What have I done? <laughs> and then you cut in and sing, and and then before you know it, the rest of the the rest of the crowd they're like, 
booze, 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 and they're they're all singing along, <laughs> you know, expertly redirected. Fiona like jumps up on the bar and like starts like trying to get, like get the crowd into the song. Yeah. <laughs> and Foodle realizes what you're doing and kind of joins in. I like to think that when we're doing booze, maybe somebody, some people in the crowd were going like boo, boo, yeah, you yeah, know, like yeah. we're like yeah. turning it, <laughs> boo. redirecting yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Boo earns. Boo All right. Boo earns. <laughs> Boo earns. <laughs> uh, Simpsons. I was so uncomfortable. Uh, leader, that was fantastic. <laughs> you did good. That dude. was fan- yeah. that was, was actually Thank really you. good. Thank you. I, I apologize that your dialogue was, you know, so yeah, hard, but you did a great yeah. job. Oh, man. <laughs> Listen, it's fine. Anything more than that, and I would have had like a nervous breakdown. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> I, yeah. Yep, I got it. I it, it was it was like when I hadn't thought about this part of it when you told me you might have to sit out this session. So I got on here with these guys, and I was just like, "Oh yeah, <laughs> Gold Drill needs to deliver an <laughs> offensive monologue." Like, Can you come up with something? <laughs> <laughs> like 30 seconds before he went on flutter flutter the actress yeah. can you <laughs> and for those still wondering improv, what by the way i am not an improv no. actress I'm yeah. <laughs> and for the sake of chat i'll just ha- i'll let you know my only other option that ghost gave me it was either that speech or running naked through the street <laughs> <laughs> Wow. That's beautiful. Yeah. I would have oh, taken the naked running uh, yeah. <laughs> I would not have. Because I can I can apologize for the insults. I was drunk. I couldn't control my words, but streaking, that's that's just a crime. I'll get jail time and probably a crime or something. Yeah. Your truthfulness though. <laughs> and so you you successfully redirected the mob away from sort of slagging off the mayor and other people. And you're and you're and we're just to, singing all the drinking songs now. You're able to to pull Goldrill away, and as you're being pulled away, Goldrill, you see, you know, from the look on uh, the the female dwarf Yolmik's uh, face, uh, who you realize uh, appears to be the owner and proprietor of the Drunken Dragon, uh, looks like she shall not be assisting the dragon in getting drunk for free anymore. <laughs> and so uh Fiona will will um after the fact reimburse her heartily for the incident at her bar because she knows that a reputation is one thing that we must be upheld. You're too <laughs> nice. I was gonna have Maja go make to and she pay them for almost causing them to get in trouble <laughs> uh reimburse her to the tune of what mm. make an offer let's say uh to the tune of wait how much do i have here um let's say 20 gold pieces 20 gold pieces oh when you offer that her eyes just light up like that is a lot of money and she hasn't seen that kind of uh that kind of cash thrown around in a long time uh so kiona so, so. is not kidding when she wants people in this town to like her well you you have successfully <laughs> salvaged your reputation with the uh with the tavern owner that's for sure uh i'll turn it over to you if you, if you want to do any is there anything else you want to accomplish at this uh at this round of carousing before we do um, I mean, outside of a round of um pa pa, I'm good. <laughs> so, does this is this counting as like a break at the moment? Yes. Or no? Yeah. Oh yeah, well, we I'll are on it. a hard break right now. Yeah. I'll I'll just say okay. this, Ghost. I'm gonna do a little bit of dancing with the people there, sure. and then probably yeah. head to bed at some yep. point. All right. <laughs> and I'm guessing this this is all like pretty much like immediately after yes. what happened at yeah. the tower. Yeah. We're talking over the course okay, of the next two we'll... days. Goldrill being, oh. Goldrill still kind of, uh, he can probably hasn't sort of understand what he did time. was not great, and he's just going to go meditate for half an hour. Okay. 
just head off there and meditate for a while. Work. Yep, I gotta get my key points work back. Work off. Kiona's gonna off repair any reputations she needs to repair, okay. including Foodles. She's gonna carouse around the whole bar and like talk to everybody and like get everybody like on board again with their parties thing. Yeah. Like she's the publicist for their party. Like that. Gotcha, yeah. <laughs> That's too yeah. funny. Just gonna fix it all. <laughs> Amazing, yeah. Okay. No, and we'll and we'll say that your your 20, 20 GP that you spent uh is is like enough to to grease the palms grease the wheels of uh enough people that you know any reputation damaged by by any of your chicanery uh has been has been effectively made up for <laughs> cheers <laughs> Yeah, Mazur goes back to go put her gold in the box because she's probably never seen that much money in her whole life. So <laughs> I, neither has Fiona. That's I know, she right? I feel like yeah, none of us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, she has yeah. no idea what that is, really. She just <laughs> yeah. You get you get the you get the feeling this was not a very wealthy town before, and and it's still not. But you get the feeling that like whoever this uh, the these sponsors of this journey. Uh, the Unbroken Circle, uh, Mages Guild. Um, you you get the impression from all this, and and many of those gold coins look look quite foreign, like they have foreign stamps on them and things like that. And so you get the impression that they might have uh, injected a bit of liquidity into the community here. Uh, for what purpose? Who knows? Maybe maybe they just want to get the uh, economy moving again, right? Um, because a, a moving town with a with a with a healthy economy is uh, is good for them as well um and so all of you head off to bed uh at whatever time that might be uh you know whether whether you you sort of collapse into your beds or or you fall asleep while meditating under a tree you put your arm around the last person leaving the bar yeah. at the end of the night <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I think this is a good place to take a really quick break. Like maybe, like maybe a 10 mm -hmm. minute, uh, and then we have some individual downtimes, uh, for, for everybody to get through. Uh, and we're going to be starting with, mm -hmm. uh, Mazra's next. Um, nice. so cool. everybody in chat, thank you so much for, uh, <laughs> bearing with us. Um, <laughs> Thus yeah. far, my God. cringy speech. I amazing. really love that flump smoke. That flump <laughs> I, I still so can't good. believe that. I had no idea. I that know. is too funny. I, I, somebody, somebody send out a Twitch yeah. for the new pog. I I feel like oh. that's great. I, I would love that. <laughs> it's a, it's honestly a Come. better pog emote than most of the. Mostly. Right, the ones, even, they, the ones that they've been putting even out. Better, even better, better than Call, the. Kali, uh, you know what we need to also do. I think. <laughs> well, thank I you. agree. I agree. Oh, I guess. So, chat. Thank you for everybody who's hanging, who's hanging out with us. I see uh, Lady Tesla six two one two came in. Hey, hey Will. um, Will's here. Hey. <laughs> star. It's yeah. the star of the show. The man. Thank of the you, hour. Will. Yeah, thank you for that email. Oh, Kali, you know what else we need to do? What. We need to make that picture I took of you after a D&D stream. You look like a Sith Lord. Make that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. We might be able to get a higher quality one, but yeah, we'll get something. <laughs> yeah, we should. We should yeah, the, the two I took yeah. aren't really like super high quality, but we, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that'd be great. Is that, is that a thing that. You, can, you can upload emotes to BTTV? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. That's how yeah. I have the pants emotes. Oh, right, I believe yeah. you can have you can have fifteen like ones from other channels, right. and you can upload I'll fifteen of your own. I believe. I will. I suppose it, I should have BTTV, I but will. I don't know how well, to make it well, work. Well, now, now that's now that's Will's. That's a sub emote that Will put up. So of course, oh, but that's yeah. Of course, oh. there's no. So there's wait, no pressure. Friend, what is, if you want what is that to be a sub emote, that's your sub emote, right? But uh, oh yeah, yeah, you, for sure. If you put it up on BTTV, I will definitely be adding that to my channel. Anchor face. Okay. All right. So, Flutter, what was the issue you're having with BTTV? I don't know how to use any of it. That's what my issue is. 
because I don't, I'm a noob that doesn't understand it. I am. <laughs> I tried to put it up on my channel I'm and I don't. Already know. subscribed. <laughs> already subscribed. <laughs> I mean, if Dre, if Dre is still for hire, you ask her. I I will have to uh, poke She's around. The so I would. Sure. I would. Uh, I would uh, I put it on my channel and then just let her go to town. And I would I, I would switch us notes. back to the uh, the the D and D stream chatting, uh, but I'm afraid what that'll look like with the cameras. <laughs> Do it. Do well, it. let's find out. I'm not going to fix the cameras though. Oh yeah, did you? There it is. It's beautiful. It's not too bad. <laughs> you just got to move look down a little bit. Um, yeah, food food just doesn't we got a we got a great we got a great picture of Kali on here. <laughs> Kali, just stand up in your webcam. Yeah, stand up, stand up, stand, stand up, Kali. What? Stand up. Stand up. <laughs> Try it. There he is. Hey. There you are. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Hold on, I can't. It's You're delayed. <laughs> Wait, there we go. <laughs> there he is. Hello. All right. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna be right back, folks. Okay. Right. Right. I am also gonna take quick, a quick, quick like, two minutes. Five minute break here. Uh, leader. <laughs> leader. Oh yeah, make that a collie lurk. What? You're, you're still here, leader. Uh, I posted yeah. a couple weeks ago in our group chat a document for downtime. I would like you to look on that and pick two things to do. And we'll kind of all add the bit for you. Downtime. So while we're on break, open up that Google Doc labeled downtime and pick two things to do. And then when we get to you, uh, oh. you'll, you'll tell me what you want to do. For now, two minute break. I'll be right back. I'm doing great, Will. How are you doing? Can you hear us? I don't know. I don't know what's happening, but <laughs> I was super tired today, but I took like a power nap and I'm feeling a lot better. So that's nice. Oh, you can. Okay. All right. <laughs> also, <laughs> dude, that emo. Holy crap. Where did you get that from? That is too funny to me. <laughs> oh my gosh. You're doing sub optim. Oh, I'm sorry, Will. Man, I'm sorry, buddy. Some of these are really cool things. Yeah, there's some really cool options. And like as a monk, you know, you could probably do some meditating. You could, you know, like those are just ideas. You're not limited to those things. Oh, me freaking out about tea and tray. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> That's amazing. You guys, um, first of all, uh, that emote is amazing. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious. Thank you, Will, for doing that. <laughs> uh, uh, also... <laughs> Hold on, wait, we haven't tried this yet, have we? Um, uh, Gold Drill, you can do whatever you want. He just gave those as suggestions for what you can do uh, during the downtime. So have an idea of what you can do. Go meditate, like I said, at the top of a mountain top with some uh, peyote or whatever. Uh <laughs> I would, but I only need to meditate once to get all my points back, so I don't really need to anymore. Well, you should be uh, fine. You should have your points back anyway. It's however... Yeah, you've got your yeah. points back. You, this yeah, is This back. kind of downtime is generally just accept it as like you have a rest you can you get all of your things back and you can just spend whatever time doing whatever your character would like to do uh so yeah there are like three or four things on here i'd love to do well there you go <laughs> one of one of them one of one i already know one of them i am gonna do i'm gonna research that scroll that we found that's in Ooh, Dragon good idea Bowler. That I can read the words, but I don't understand what it says. I'm gonna. What was I'm it? Gonna, His, actually, like hysterical laughing or something? <laughs> oh yeah, it was like. Oh, uh, yeah, it's the it's the it's the. It's like 
grotesque laughing. Or grotesque something. laughter. Yes, I think that's right. Yeah. yeah no, it was like uh, something with an H. Oh, hideous, hideous laughter. Hideous laughter. That's the one. Hideous yeah. laughter. Yep. Yeah. That's right. So that'd be fun yes. for someone to be able to use. So I imagine if I figure, if I like research it and understand how it works, I could probably let you, one of you use it or use it myself. Who knows? Yeah. Okay. Does my it's voice so still so sound I okay? Be able to use it, right? I think so. Okay. All right. That's oh, good. okay. Do we have mic problems? Hopefully, I'm not like peeking or anything. Oh, no, no. Uh, Shrey was just mentioning that like I might want to pull my mic a little oh, okay. bit further away, so. Maybe that's right. better. I I don't know. Good. I don't want to be peeking or like overpowering anybody or anyway. So. All right. Oh my goodness. Also, Sharia is amazing. She made me some soup because I am starving. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, I'm gonna have a cup of noodles nice. after this, so I I know nice, you. Nice, nice, nice. Can we can we turn <laughs> this D and D stream into like a dinner theater? But we oh, we just eat while we do. Yeah. <laughs> we, we get to eat and chat, please. D and D and chat. We can watch us eat. That's, yeah, yeah. Man. I know, I know what you mean though. Like I've had such a day, and then came back, and all of these technical issues. We started an hour late. I doxed Kali on stream like four times without <laughs> meaning to. Any single time, it's just, it's the worst. So it's that week. I've, I've got that week. one, one drink, and that's all I'm gonna have. But I need oh, it. That's beautiful. It. That's beautiful though. Yeah. Which whiskey is that? Yeah, dude. Oh, this do is it. this is the Forty Creek Honey Spice whiskey. This is my my Christmas whiskey. So, oh, yeah. that sounds beautiful, actually. Yeah. You're crispy. Crispy, yeah. Crispy. Chat thinks I must. Uh, <laughs> chat thinks I drank way more of this than I actually have. <laughs> like that that bottle must be gone. <laughs> not not as much. I'm um that far through that bottle. I nice. don't know how well you guys can see. Nice. It's in there. <laughs> uh, leader, I, I just have to say, I really, I really appreciate your, uh, how you handled that little speech. It was actually it, yeah. so good. I loved it, every second of it. Do you like the, do you like the drunken yes. hiccups? I yes. did. Yes. I loved it. You did such a good job with that. I know that was outside of your comfort zone, so I really appreciate you doing that. Oh, you have Absolutely. no idea. That was a nice touch, man. I do. It was like outer space. I apologize. I couldn't zone. come up with better words for you. <laughs> Listen, it doesn't matter what was written there. I probably, I'd like half blanked and just. Oh, went. yeah. No, that's okay. I, like, I don't know. <laughs> like, every. You did great with Every that. time I throw on an accent, I become incredibly self conscious when I'm doing this. <laughs> I don't know why I have make me speak in an accent as a channel points thing. <laughs> because Is that like a default one? No, like... it's one that I picked. Yeah, you kind no, of did that one to one yourself. <laughs> somebody, somebody told me to add it, and I did. And every time That's it gets funny. redeemed, I regret it's it. It's so good at Scottish accents, I gotta say. No, it's terrible. I can't it's do a terrible. Scottish accent to save my life. I had, you know, you're really actually quite yeah, good at it. Well, that. thank you. Thank Sometimes you. I do some accents well, and the other percentage of time I don't. <laughs> Just bad. Oh, <laughs> Will's Will's playing D and D in <laughs> chat. <laughs> I know that's I'm crazy. like, wait, what? I just saw that emote, and I'm like, hold on. <laughs> oh, what? What is he doing? <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing. Oh my gosh, Will, you cracked me up, man. Also, I don't, I don't know. I'm trying to summon a coffee from source. I don't know who was watching. Uh, who was watching some of last night's uh, um, spoiler-free world-building stream. Uh, but there are some individuals from the community who have uh, who have little avatars in our town. 
uh, and you you encountered. Yeah, like I I know who that uh, giant person. Oh, you know was. who the giant person was? Uh, yeah, because I was I was watching the stream. I was watching the stream last I don't, night. So. I don't. Think, uh, I tuned into that stream for like a minute and <laughs> basically. <laughs> I tuned in for like a minute, and the only thing I said was, "You should make a bag of like five hundred gold that Gold Drill just happens yeah, to find." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that idea was shot down very quick. But we've earned enough gold. <laughs> you did. You know, I feel bad, Ghost. When I I'm tuned rock in, at thirty. Um, I I basically couldn't hear what you guys were saying, and I was just like, "I'm just lurking," you know. Yeah, nobody's yeah. saying, and and then as people were like doing ban me and chatter, and anyway, I said. <laughs> Was that just the joke, like, Kali, you shouldn't no, be here? No, like, it's, it no, it was your blurb. You no. It was your blurb. Yeah, oh. your blurb. You, what, your blurb. What was your blurb again? It was, something, it was something that offended the me. The Star Wars guys just describing, uh, oh, it was sand. Luke Sky, or not Luke. Uh, oh, Skywalker I forgot sand. I changed it. <laughs> yeah. I forgot I changed it. <laughs> it was awful. And every single person that was listening, if they are sane, had a visceral reaction. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that, that's fair. That's every, fair. Yeah, everybody Wait, was what, like, what man, Kali... <laughs> sand, I hate Stop. sand. Stop. It's so rough and coarse, Stop. and it One gets everywhere. He's just chatting her up like, oh, oh yeah, my God. get in so there, cool. man. You got it. <laughs> That's how you like, talk no. to ladies. Mm. No. <laughs> like you don't talk to humans you know. like that. What? Who wrote anyway? I love, sorry. I love too how I love too how he's like. <laughs> I hate democracy. We should have a dictator. Want to bone down? It's like, what? <laughs> right? <laughs> what is this guy's... Uh, it's just... I found it. There's oh no... There is literally zero justification for those two being together based on what Padme I saw. Padme is just like, <laughs> this, this like, 16 no year old is so attractive. I love yeah. him. Right? <laughs> and he's like, this oh, I know, right? horrible, oh, God. awkward. Oh, like, it's, it's so terribly done. The writers mm -hmm. on that. Mm. <laughs> it was definitely written by a 100% male staff. Like, oh, for sure. there were no women involved in the writing of that no. at no. all, at any stage. No. Like, <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay. Anyway. So, Megan, Megan, is, uh, <laughs> Megan is DMing um, Will. Oof. Wait, what? Riding, riding a collie horse and fighting against a Hanbi troll. <laughs> oh my god. The one where they get married, it's the end of two, right? The end, the of, end two. of two. No, no. The sand scene is that in the first no, one? That's the second one. Yeah. Second one. It is in the second one. <laughs> well, I guess we should get back okay, to it if they're playing. It. Let's leave. Uh, that. <laughs> good luck. Good luck, Will, on your uh, you on your role play in chat. <laughs> We're going <laughs> to continue. <laughs> Wish you all the best. Hope you uh, hope you defeat the troll. Um, That's right. Oh no! Oh no! But she's such a badass in that scene. She's the only one that like takes control. And she's just like, I'm gonna get myself out of here. Speaking, <laughs> speaking of taking control, like, I'm doing it. It's true. Let's get started. <laughs> what are you talking about? All right. Uh, so uh, we're, what we're gonna do now is uh, so so you awaken from your basically 48 hours of intense revelry. <sighs> Drinking. Exactly. Uh, you all have you just all have like a wanger of a headache. Well, speak for yourselves, says Mezra. Oh, right. What Mezra's movie? Is fine. Uh, and so uh, it it takes well most of you, not all of you apparently, but it takes most of you, you know, a little a little bit, <laughs> uh, you know, a few hours to recover from your hangovers. Sort of, you, you have a really slow start to your next day. Uh, and you you, uh, you have a you have a couple of weeks um, before the caravan gets started rolling again, uh, and so I asked each of you to tell me a couple of things that you wanted to do on your downtime, uh, and uh, you got back to me. You made your decisions, and in the background, uh, I kind of rolled on some of the the random tables that were that were in the the rule books. Uh, for how to resolve some of this 
Uh, and so uh, some of them have resulted in some interesting little side stories uh, emerging. So I'm looking forward to seeing what happens. We're going to start with Mazra. So Mazra, uh, wh what was the first thing that you wanted to do? Um, definitely uh, now that she's back um, and had kind of her first, I'm not going to say taste of adventure, but, you know, voluntold, basically. Um, I think she's uh, wanting to kind of work on uh, improving her, her uh, hand a little bit. Mm -hmm. Um, to make it a little bit more useful when they're kind of out in the field. Okay. So that'll be her primary focus, yeah. I think. And I believe what we talked about was was integrating your Thieves Tools Kit into your arm. Uh, so right. you don't have to carry Ooh. a Thieves Tools Kit around with you. And so, like, adding little right. compartments to like store Swiss tools. Army knife and... On your arm. Yeah. And that's that's, cute. that's <laughs> kind of exactly the, yeah, that's yeah, exactly like it. a retractable <laughs> lock pick in the, in the finger and, and things like that. Uh, awesome. so is Kali reacting to this or something that's in chat? I don't know. Ice cream. No, no, no that's yeah, genius. Ice cream. No, <laughs> I thought the retractable, like that's, that's incredible. Yeah. I love it. So <laughs> that's amazing. This is going to take you a little while and, and you're going to need some help to do this. You, you can't do this on your right. own. Uh, cause you're, you're realizing that you're going to need some specialized materials. Um, and so you're going to need to get help from a metalsmith and from some sort of a woodworker or a carpenter. Uh, right. So. <laughs> right. So of course she'll she'll go to her friend. Um, is it Alaria? Alaria Goddard. Goddard. Yeah. So she'll she'll go there first. Um, okay. And. Uh, yeah. And so as you as you approach her uh, as you approach her wagon, she's she's got it all folded out and set up to to run shop. Let me just remind myself what her her wagon is called. So as you as you approach uh, her smithy, which is like a large wagon that's sort of been unfolded into a storefront, and then there's a secondary wagon pulled behind. This amazing contraption that she has it's like a second small wagon, almost like when you see like a like a like a meat smoker pulled on like as its own trailer pulled behind like a truck or something. It kind of looks like that. It's this all metal like you haven't seen anything made like made of more metal than this uh ever uh so it's this all like cast iron uh furnace uh hooked up to the back that she's that she's got running very 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 hot and she's she's able to just turn it churn stuff out of this like nothing uh and she's got her her anvil set up beside it and she's just hammering away uh and she's got a sign hanging out front of her wagon that reads, uh, Goddard's Very Good Smithy. <laughs> That's great Very name. Yeah. <laughs> Mazra approves. Wait, especially you, you one more time? Goddard, Goddard's Simple? Very Good Smithy. Okay, yeah. thank you. Simple and to the point. Yeah, yeah. considering Mazra's shop is something like Mazra's Tinker Shop, it's like, I mean... Is that, right? is like that, what, it is? Is that what it is? No, no, it's gonna be like Wait, greenstone tinkers or something like that. What is it, leader? Do you have a store? Yeah. Well, Mazra, Mazra she has yeah, a business. Mazra ran a business. Oh. Uh, I don't know yep. that. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah, she wouldn't call it by her first name. She she it'd be like greenstone odd jobs or or something okay. like that. <laughs> greenstone odd jobs. Interesting. Yeah. All right. So as you as you approach, there's there's uh, you know the familiar form of Alaria Goddard, uh, you know, tall, powerfully built, uh, in, in a way that like rivals rivals you even without the half orcish blood, uh, and and tan skin weathered from uh, from from spending all this time outdoors and in front of the furnace, uh, and she's just hammering on this anvil, ching, ching. Ting, and as you approach, she looks up. She nods. Mazra? Goddard. And uh, she'll be like, I uh, have some work. Need done. What work? I can pay this time. Oh, okay. Um, and she'll uh, she'll have a little uh, little uh, little book with her. Like, I guess um, 
if it's okay for her to have that officially, but just a little notebook with scratch yeah, paper fine. or something in it. And that's fine. She'll just open that up and and kind of uh, offer it out. She's got some cr some sketches in there um, of some kind of specialty parts that she needs, and uh, she'll be like, uh, "Need these uh, Smith." I can do that. And she points to some of the some of the woodworking. She says, "I can't do that." She'll, uh, she'll nod and say, uh, got any recommendations? Hmm. Isn't your, uh, dragonborn, dragonborn friend good with wood? And then she just, and, she'll and then kind she of just, just... kind of goes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You just and that's, just, and that's just... the hardest you've ever seen her laugh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah the edges of her mouth just kind of tighten a little bit and she's just like mm. we'll see i guess but for now and she'll she'll offer out the uh the paper so that um alaria can can take it and, and keep it um okay and she's just like uh let me know what the price is. Uh, I'm just gonna this up. I wrote it down some. Well, do you have the tools? Yeah. Oh, is that is that the, the tools tool, that the uh, this yeah. out of yes, character? The tools kit. The ones. Yeah, she's like. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I'll need those back. All right. And. say seven gold and she's just like all right and um but since she knows this person so well she does not um hesitate to actually pay either in advance or or half in advance depending on what her business practice is because yep. she knows that alaria is not gonna screw around sure. so sure yep uh and so she she takes your toolkit um, and she'll take she'll take the full payment up front, so you can deduct All seven right. gold from your character sheet. Okay. She says uh, I'll get to work on those pieces right away. Come back in a week. All right. Uh, meanwhile, what are you doing about the uh, the wood pieces? <laughs> She's she well, I think she'll spend a little bit of time because she really really doesn't want to talk to certain people <laughs> and. Uh, <laughs> Wow. I think she'll just ask around and see if anybody has any uh... intra-party intra drama. <laughs> <laughs> I, love it. I love it. I mean, after his insults at the bar, <laughs> I can't really blame her. <laughs> um, yeah, I think she'll ask around a little bit and see if anybody has any other suggestions before she kind of bites the bullet, yeah. as it were. Uh, and, and the, the best, uh, the best you can find is, like, this old man with, like, trembling hands, who, he's, oh he's just like, if you want a chair, I can make that. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> She's just like, no. <laughs> and every, um, everything, everything, kind of everything you point to is, like, he, like, this part is where you... <laughs> is that for a chair? <laughs> Oh my God. She just kind of, she kind of cradles her arm and like is like, mm -hmm. <laughs> nope. Okay. So she will reluctantly um, go and find Goldrill um, within the next however long. You know, she'll she'll go since she realizes they only have a certain amount of time. She won't, you know, dilly dally about it. So where where would he be normally, leader? Um, I'd say probably still wherever he went to meditate. I guess maybe not exactly meditating at this moment, but just like in that area. Okay. Uh, we'll say we'll say there's a hill nearby and there's a nice large like oak tree up the top. Okay. I'm just sitting uh, over there. Okay. Yeah, she'll she'll uh, make her way over there and uh, um, looks a little uh, 
you know, her usual grumpy self, anyway. And, uh, it's just like, uh, hang on a minute. She'll go, uh, please, and please tell me if I'm saying this correct incorrectly. Um, how do you say your character's last name? Aurorin. Aurorin. Yeah, so she'll, she'll walk up and be like, Aurorin, I have business with you. Close enough. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Dragon man. <laughs> Dragon man. <laughs> yeah, so like Uro Rin. Uro Rin. Uro Rin. Yeah. Uro Rin. I have business with you. <laughs> hey, you a dragon. You Uro Rin. <laughs> <laughs> is that is that is that what that is that is not that, that, that is not at all that is not at all I. I got my character's name like I I just did like a dragonborn like name generator a bunch of times took a first name and a last name I liked and I just now realized that that okay because really, I was like you did you really? <laughs> it's done it's done that's, that's how it works it. it's yeah, done. Yeah. I never that's, even thought about it but that's great that's beautiful. <laughs> I love it. Okay. Oh my God. Incredible. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, yeah. So she'll she'll uh, be like, "I have business with you. Are you busy?" Not particularly. She's like, "Very well. Weird. I have need of your skills at carpentry." Said carpentry a little weird there. But, um, in character, uh, I'd I'd be glad to. I've been told about what I said last night, and uh, not particularly happy with myself. So I'd be more than happy to try and make that up to you. She kind of uh, is quiet for a minute, thinking. I'd rather not do this, but if it's for free, then okay, maybe I can handle that. So, uh, <laughs> she... <laughs> so, uh... For as long as you do it for free, I don't care. She'll, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she'll pull out her little book, um, and basically... Uh, and inside, she's dying, but she's gonna sit down on the grass next to him, and hold out her book and uh put, she's got some like um some drawings in there basically of so she she has that um kind of wooden hand part with the like the fingers she can bend and whatever so she'll kind of it's like sketches of that um and kind of showing off some like sch schematics or whatever you want to call it drawings of what it is that she's trying to achieve so basically like some carvings um, kind of in the fingers and then uh, maybe some carvings on like the hand part. So it'd be some like bigger pieces, some smaller pieces. Um, and she'll like give him the book and say like, can you do this? I'm not sure I've done anything quite as intricate as this before, but I can most definitely give it a shot. And she's like, she thinks about it for a minute and just says, so so what she'll do actually and this 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 may be a little bit weird but she'll actually kind of she has like her sleeve or whatever and she'll kind of pull it back a little bit and there's there's like her arm and she kind of just like twists the hand part and it pops off like it's kind of like one of those like socket things you can kind of just like put tool heads onto and she's kind of like and um she'll kind of hold it out to him and say i'm trusting you with this if you mess it up you're going to make me a new one. Agreed. All right. And she'll she'll leave him with the drawings as well, just like she did with uh, Hilaria as well. So, Goldrill, you estimate that what you're going to need is about... Uh, you're going to need some high-quality wood for this. You'll need to spend about three gold pieces. Uh, whether that's coming out of you or whether that's coming out of Mazra. Uh... And that's and that's just for materials, right? That's not that's not charging overhead for labor or anything like that. Um, I will do it 
as a favor for a friend and buy him out of pocket to try and better my chances of making up with Matt. Okay. All right. So please subtract three gold. Don't laugh at me. Person. I'm making an effort. Yeah. No, I'm laughing because <laughs> Matt's a Matt's just a bad person. This you know what you can think of it as like one of those old movies about the evils of drink. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. from the like the nineteen fifties. Mm-hmm. Poor young mm-hmm. dragon man gets down the, the horrible path of alcohol yeah. consumption. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, yeah. And and so uh same thing, Gold Drill, you estimate that this will take about a week of work. Um if you're taking your time on this, you can do something that's called take 10, where you don't you don't actually roll the dice. Uh, you spend a little bit of time, uh, and we assume that you automatically roll a 10 on it. Um, and with your uh, with your dexterity and your proficiency bonus from your carpenter's tools, uh, oh my God, Kali just dropping a truth bomb in the chat. Leader wasn't born when Phantom Menace came out. Uh, oh hurt. no! Just <laughs> stop talking about it. I should have deleted it. <laughs> I just navigated oh, back no. to the chat, and I was like, "No." <laughs> okay, okay, moving on from that. Yeah, with right. your with your stats leader, uh, or rather gold drill, uh, you would you would definitely succeed at that. So you put about a week of work into it. You carve out the uh on top of what you're doing right so that doesn't count as anything that you're doing during your downtime um but you're you're carving these little pieces out um and and after about a week uh both goddard and uh gold drill have the pieces ready to deliver to you and i'm assuming that you're assembling these yourself right right okay uh if there's and if there's anything that she absolutely can't do by herself i think she would she would seek out yeah. probably alaria um, sure are, are you gonna do the same thing and take 10 do you have tinker's tools yeah does she hang on let me check i thought she did I thought she did as well i think that's what i you mean she started. should that's I considering think that's what that's you started really, yeah. with and you had to buy the thieves tools on a favor right right which did you ever pay Alaria back for that? <laughs> well, what we decided was I was gonna, this this will come up later, but I I owe her job. Oh, so okay, yeah, that's yeah. all good. Um, Sorry. So you have proficiency in it, but I don't see it in your inventory. You I know do, what? I do see dried if, if, poop in your inventory. Yeah. <laughs> what was what was that <laughs> from? What was that, that from again? Because she was uh, when we were cleaning out the cart before I fixed it. Oh. He, yeah, and I rolled a yeah, one. Rolled for, and found something, yeah, rolled a found one something and valuable in it. Found a, found a strange stone that you didn't know what to do with, and I ruined it by like, imagine if that's poop, and yeah. it was. <laughs> I think there was an issue where, so here's here's the thing. I think that we had discussed about her having Tinker's tools, but that maybe they were lost along right. the way in, in a certain amount. So what she might actually do as, a, as like a secondary thing is, um, now that she's got a little bit of money squirreled away, is maybe just... Um, splurge a little okay. bit on a, a nice set of tools since they are that's okay. part of her trade, I guess. Let me look up how much Tinker's tools are, real quick. This should be quick because I have it right here. Yeah. While you do this, I will yeah. be right back. Sure. No uh, problem. Oh wait, we're not in right. We're not in Discord. We're in. The- yeah. <laughs> gotta, I gotta meet. Uh, tinkers are fifty GP. Okay. Well, Ooh, I think that since she settings. does. Yeah, since she does use that for, like, yeah. um, for that stuff, I think she'd be willing to part with a little bit of okay. her money for that. Like, it's 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 um, investing in her future, yeah. I think, and it'll allow her to do her job yeah, better. Yeah. So okay. Uh, and so if you take ten so will... on that uh, on on that skill roll to to assemble your new hand, uh, then that'll be a success. Okay. If you have the tinker's tools. Okay. Yeah, she would definitely do that. And I'll I'll take that okay. money off of the uh, her sheet as well. Perfect. Uh, and yeah, and so you can now um, you can now change in your inventory. Uh, you can change the weight of your thieves' tools uh, to zero. Okay. All right. 
and then that doesn't you know that doesn't take up any space in your backpack or anything like that so it's a it's a it's a free item okay okay that's your thieves tools rather i don't know if i said that or tinker's tools i have returned welcome back okay welcome back and now what was the uh what was the second thing you wanted to do mazra Um, I think the only other thing she was going to do was, um, there was a, there was a couple things. So, well, a couple small things. So she, one, um, she was going to, when she does return back to, to speak with Eloria, she's going to let her know that, um, she's ready to, if, if Eloria needs her for some of those jobs that, um, she, I think it was three, uh, jobs for yeah. payment for the tools. Yeah. Um, she's ready to do those whenever. Yeah. And I, I, um, one of the other things she may do is um, uh, ask around with her normal contacts to see if anybody has any like leftover smoke leaves since Foodle bought it all and bought like, out the entire town. She actually has like a medicinal need for yeah, it, and uh, not, not a recreational need. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, there's, there's, there's actually uh, there, there's uh, been. Uh, a, a fresh shipment, if you will. Um, so there's there's plenty available for you to buy. Somebody in town is growing it. Uh, yeah. And if you uh, one of their wagons, we can we can say that you can add three units of smoke leaf to your inventory. I don't even remember what our price for smoke leaf was. Uh, spend spend a silver piece, and you can have three units. Okay. I don't. I think I think right. Kali spent like nine gold and got fifty units or something like that. So yeah. no. no, I got twelve. You got twelve <laughs> off of three gold. Okay. Yeah. So mental math, mental math, <laughs> mental math. Off of nine gold. Is that what it was? I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need calculator. Was like it that? Because you did spend. He yeah. He did spend like all his money. So I had a fair chunk of money too. <laughs> so three three quarters of a gold. So seven and a half silver per unit. So we go seven point five times. Yeah, if you spend uh, two silver and two <laughs> copper, you'll get three units of smoke leaf. Okay. Oh. All right. Wouldn't now, it be five copper or no? Per a unit. Well, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. In this case, <laughs> a unit, right. a unit well, yeah, is is unit. an enjoyable full pipe smoke of smoke leaf. There we go. Okay. Uh, oh, so you gotta, so. you gotta. Get... <laughs> What's happening? The thing I just looked over at chat. I I've been ignoring it, but oh, oh. my goodness! Uh oh, I got a bits. <laughs> Snaz. Um. Oh no, that was Snaz before. What what did we get bits for? I'm sure. I'm sure. It's Shiraz. I'm sure vinyl. Do I'm wild sure vinyl magic will, and an upgrade. <laughs> I'm sure vinyl will let me know. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. All right. So you're gonna <laughs> Shiraz 800 bits wild magic. Here we go. We love you, Shiraz. Here we go. Once we <laughs> once we get to Kiona, once we get to Kiona. All right, uh, Mazra. God, this is the worst time to do wild magic, Shiraz. <laughs> Just right in the middle of town, there's an explosion. Um, oh my gosh. <laughs> so Mazra, uh, you're working to repay your debt to Ilaria. We talked about three jobs, right? Uh, so I've right. concocted this this system of work points right you need to collect three work points in order to uh fully repay your labor debt to alaria okay um i got a little bit of a i got a little table for you to roll on um you need to uh and i got a couple of skill checks set up for you okay so first uh she wants you to help around the forge and so i would like you to make a strength uh, Shiraz already has a major mutation banked. Oh my goodness. We're gonna have to. There's oh my second. gosh. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> oh no, we love you, Shiraz. I don't, I don't know if we're even more. getting to combat this session. <laughs> we'll find out. All right, so make an athletics check. Okay. Um, uh, okay. Uh, 
Yeah. So so you you kind of uh, you're you're not uh, you're not you're you're well versed at like assembling things and and like working with tools like on a workbench. You're not. And so you're not much help around the forge. And, you know, Alaria doesn't seem to be irritated with you, but she definitely doesn't seem to be satisfied, you know. <laughs> uh, and so so you don't make any progress towards repaying your, your labor debt. Um, and you don't need to do it all this in, in this downtime session. We can, we can have it uh, happen over a couple more. Um, right. And then uh, a couple of days later... Uh, you come back to help out again, uh, and and Alaria just sort of points to the bellows, and she says, uh, "There's a rip in the bellows. Might be something that you're better at." Um, and so I'd like you to make a tools check using your intelligence score, please. Okay. So a tinker tinker tools check with your intelligence score. Okay. That is much better. Much better. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and, and you do you do such a good job. She was expecting you to like patch the bellows, but you, you know once you get in there and you start working at it, you say, "Well, I can actually make some improvements to this bellows, right? And I can I can make the membrane a bit tougher. Uh, I can I can open the, the air intake a little bit more uh, without compromising the structure of it. Uh, and so what what you end up doing is uh, Alaria is so impressed with your work. Excellent. Uh, Alaria is so impressed with your work that you gain two work points. Uh, and so your debt, yeah, your yeah, debt yeah. is reduced to, to one work point left. Uh, but that's okay. all you have the time for uh, during this sure. downtime phase. Okay. While you're working on the Sounds bellows, good. a group of uh, half elves wearing sort of mis mismatched clothing but uh, but matching uh, red armbands, uh, sort of like almost bandages or, or tourniquets around their arm, uh, approach uh, approach Alaria, um, and you see you see them uh, kind of standing around in a bit of a semicircle, while uh, a young a young male half elf uh, who appears to be their leader is kind of speaking with Alaria in uh, hushed tones. Okay. Um, I guess if I'm nearby, I can try to, you know, listen in and see what they're okay. kind of... Because, I mean, and, and at this point, she doesn't really have to sneak around. She can just kind of, like, right. pretend she's working. So, I'd like you to roll an insight check, please. Okay. Oh, she's so bad at it. Can I use investigation instead? <laughs> she's so bad at this. <laughs> roll, roll an insight first. Okay. And you can investigate. Okay. Yeah, you can't. You can't tell. You know. You can't. You know. You're. You're like trying to read the emotions on people's faces, but Alaria is so uh, such a hard read in the first place that you can't tell how she feels about this conversation that she's right. having right now. Uh, you can roll an investigation to try to listen in, eavesdrop a little okay. bit. Oh yeah. Yeah. Excellent. Wait. So much better. <laughs> she's this is this is like her one her thing. Like she's really smart and really like charismatic, but she's like really not wisdom. She's no, I, not wise. No, I, doesn't yeah. have doesn't have musical skills. Yeah. yeah, that's amazing, isn't it? Uh, that's so all right. Uh, and so you you gather that this uh, this this young male half elf. Uh, you hear you hear the name uh, Fendril. Uh, Zalaria says, hey, "I don't, I don't have it ready yet, Fendril." Uh, and uh, Fendril, uh, it's just kind of like, "Well, me and the band need it, and we need it quick." So see that it gets done. And then he kind of, uh, he kind of like snaps his fingers, um, and turns around and walks away, and the the rest of the group follow in uh, behind. And Alaria kind of watches them go, and as they turn a corner out of sight, uh, she just turns around and goes back to her work at the forge.
Okay. Well, she's she's you know, she doesn't always you know try to eavesdrop. Although she's she's curious, okay. you know, and is you know, just kind of like uh, troublesome customers. Hmm. And that's kind of the only response you get from from Laria as she goes back to her work. Hmm. So they were just, they were just like, we need it, get it done. I don't know how much she could actually weed a lot of her because she's, she's like notice it notably like a brick wall for a lot of stuff. I mean, you can always, you um, can always try like a persuasion or something. Yeah. I think what she would kind of do is, is try to, um, appeal to like their co their common like sense their common connection as like business owners mm. dealing with like crappy customers mm. you know okay so what do you what do you say to her <laughs> okay and then, um and then she'll be she'll kind of you know yeah she'll kind of it just kind of like sidle over and uh it sounds so weird but um just be like you know, I, uh, I get customers like that sometimes. All right. Roll, roll your persuasion. <laughs> see if she, uh, see if she confides Jeez. in you. Yeah. Hey. And so Alaria's response, she just goes, mm -hmm, without looking up from her work. And she just continues. Yeah. Although maybe maybe Mazra will go ask around about weird elves wearing red things on their arms. Okay. Uh, and what you find out from the talk around town is that this was a uh, this was a group who formed out of the uh, kind of half elf community, like the the half elf minority living in Blycross had kind of formed their own sort of internal community uh, as many half elves often do uh, and this is a group calling themselves the bastard brand uh, who are a little bit of a they, they claim to be like a self-defense militia of this half elven community who who uh, began to be preyed on uh, by you know crime and swindlers and things like that in the refugee camps and so these this group kind of came together um, as as a self-styled self-defense militia for their community um to, to protect their the half elf community from uh exploitation and, and crime uh in the refugee camps uh but from your talk of uh, around the town uh there's there's not exactly an impression that they're you know uh, uh an, an upstanding uh law-abiding police force right they they may be they may be a little bit more like a like a just another gang right so she may she she does have some uh personal pride being uh half breed herself or whatever you want to call it you know and which is odd considering she is not uh exactly hesitant about hmm. you know taking advantage mm. of <laughs> situations yeah. if they uh if need be um but um yeah i think i think she might just ask around and see if people are having kind of problems with these guys or yeah. if certain people may want them kind of uh spoken to or anything like that i'd like you to make a, an insight check I know that that's not okay. the strongest, but uh, let's see what it comes out. Oh, that's not bad. Decent. That's not bad. Not bad. A minus one. That's a good roll. Wow. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, uh, they, yeah, they've been they've been going around. And they they haven't been causing like a ton of trouble. Like it's not it's not like these guys are some sort of like um, gang of thugs wandering around and smashing shop windows and things like that. That's not exactly their thing. Uh, but they are quite rough around the edges. 
uh, and, and you kind of hear rumors that there there's been some um, some extortion happening of businesses owned by people who are not half elves, right? Mm -hmm. um, and that they've been they've been um, kind of collecting things, right? They've been they've been uh, not not things like weapons or like magic or anything like that, but they've been they've been kind of like gathering some supplies. Okay, yeah, she can't let other people extort people. That's her thing. So, um, <laughs> she she um, does the extorting. I think we... Yeah, yeah right. exactly. <laughs> she's, she's, she's the leader of that gang. She doesn't do it all the time. She's fair about it, mm. mostly. Um, <laughs> look, she just knows what her skills are worth. Um, but I think what she may do is, um, I think she may try to, instead of just, like, directly, like, walking up into their faces, I think she would instead try and find out, like, where they're staying and, like, maybe try to, like, see if she can, um... I don't know get a feel for what they have and um like backdoor it a little bit so okay. uh and if that doesn't work she may she may just go like hit up the mayor and be like what are you doing about these yeah well, ruffians roll... ruffians you know yeah Roll, roll an investigation for the first part there. And we'll okay. see what comes out of that. Oh, jeez. Oh. Yeah. Oh. So, they're, so they're kind of uh, quite safely ensconced, with, ensconced rather, within the, the half-elven community, right? They have their own kind of group of wagons and things like that that they kind of keep to themselves uh, because, you know, half-elves don't treat other half-elves like they're like half-breeds and mudbloods and like whatever else, right? Uh, and so they, you know, they, they, half elves do face like a little bit of prejudice. And so they kind of keep to themselves, right? And they have their own sort of team of wagons that they keep nearby each other and, and they, they help each other out. And there's, there's a lot of, um, you hit a lot of brick walls in your investigation because they're, you know, they're not, uh, they're, they're not exactly keen to talk to you, uh, an outsider and a non half elf about, um, this group. Um, but you do know that they're kind of safely within that. They they kind of are are able to operate like a little bit more openly within the, that little half elven sub community, um, because you know nobody nobody will snitch on them and nobody um, will call them out. And they they don't appear to you know they're they're um, kind of small time, you know, not quite legal activity doesn't seem to extend to you know they don't have any half elven victims of their of their sort of extortions and blackmail right. and things like that um and as for the mayor right now uh we're gonna stick a pin in this because you're kind of out of sure. out of the time that's available to you uh sounds in, good in your downtime uh and so the mayor just at the moment it's just too busy to speak with you uh and that's something that we sure. can stick a pin in and we can come back to that another time uh for okay. now we're moving on to foodle oh now, Poodle, if All I'm right, right uh, you wanted to you want to sharpen your hunting skills a little bit, right? Yes. Yeah. And and uh, you know, make a little bit of money, but sure. that that was the yeah. thought. All right. We'll see. <laughs> so we'll make this nice and simple. Okay. Um, if you go out into uh, if you, you as you wander away from the caravan out into the woods and so you'll get any any forest uh bonuses favorite terrain bonuses that come out of this um i would like you to make a survival check for for tracking down some game okay uh let me double check if that helps at all yeah, <laughs> yeah. let's double check um A survival check? Okay. Uh, I don't think so. Okay. I, I, I just glanced through and I didn't see anything. So I'm just going to roll it. Uh, not at advantage, just normal. Okay. Yep. Here we go. 
Oh, oh. wow. You topped out my scale. <laughs> so as you as you wander through the woods, you're proceeding with the utmost stealth. It's like it's like you're wearing satin slippers moving on a rug, right? Uh, there's no crunch of leaves or, or breaking any dry twigs or anything like that. You're a whisper. You're a ghost. You're a shadow moving through the woods. Uh, and you hear in the distance just this. You approach slowly and you see. I would say it's the biggest wild boar you've ever seen, but you've seen one before. That's just about just, just about this big. <laughs> Actually, mm. it's exactly this big. And it's <gasps> got the same pattern of scars on its side. Can it be? Is this Gut Ripper? How did it survive? Okay. Alright, um, uh, can I take a shot? If I'm sort of, you know, I'm, I'm sneaking, right? <laughs> like, like, I was... I question the fact that it's the same fucking board, but I just want to shoot okay. it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, no, but that's why. Take, take... <laughs> also, should I... Should I up my hit points? So they're oh, yeah, you, no, you, from... you've all, you've all had a long rest. You're all back at, like, full hit points, and, and you've that's, had a long rest. Yeah. You've had healing. Full hit points, full key points, full sorcery okay. points, whatever. Nice. Okay. Just want yep. to make yep. sure. All your spells have sense. refreshed. <laughs> all right, cool. All, all your spells have refreshed. Yes. Okay. Um, so I... Knowing that, I think... Um, hold on. Let me look at this for just a second. You rolled a, you rolled a uh, 19 on that die. Yeah, that's crazy. Okay, so um, Foodle is not losing this this thing this time. What's what's the name? Gut Sorry, Ripper. Gor uh, Gut Ripper. Yeah. That's the one. Foodle is resolved not to lose Gut Ripper this time, uh, and so he's going to, you know, whisper, "I've got you in my sights," and cast Hunter's Mark on. Oh, he Gut said Ripper. it quietly okay. that time. I feel like that's something we should remark upon. <laughs> 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 but you can't because you're not there. Um, I know. I'm just. <laughs> okay, and that uses up one of my spells. So. Okay. Yeah, and you cast Hunter's Mark, and almost, almost supernaturally, it's like the rest of the world falls away, and your senses sharpen, and you become suddenly aware, more aware of you know the color of the leaves in front of you, the the feeling of the wind on your face, uh, but everything around Gut Ripper seems to just sort of blur and smudge out, and uh, the, the boar itself comes into very, very sharp relief in front of you. It still does not All see right. you. Foodle is going to take a, uh, a deep breath aim and squeeze that trigger on his musket all right roll your uh roll your die now do i get advantage because it's yes, a sneak yes. attack i don't know take, how that take works advantage. okay okay i probably should have done we'll that take anyway damage I'll just roll from the first one if you hit yeah wow wow oh but i don't think i hit shit those are some really good those damage good numbers damage oh my numbers. god we'll say we'll say wow. you hit with 11 damage Okay, it's, so it's if I not, hit, and yeah, I need to roll. Yeah, because it doesn't it doesn't get its dex bonus because it's flat-footed, right? So you're. So that's the hunter's that's mark the hunter's damage mark as damage. well. Okay, so that's 15 damage. All right, so mm. the the shot just echoes like a crack of thunder. Uh, birds are flying out of the tree, right? Uh, and you see the uh, this this bright red spot as the musket bolt pierces into its uh, thick hide and uh, the the pig like rears uh, and squeals and screeches 
uh, and it turns around and it sees you and it begins to charge. Now it's at quite some distance. Uh, and as it's charging, the wind seems to shift and change direction. Oh, and no. you smell oh, no. uh, this, this pungent aroma of almost like burnt hair. Uh, and Gut Ripper, as it charges closer to you and, and enlarges in the distance, uh, as it closes its distance, uh, it seems to continue to grow. Uh, and it has grown into... Oh, God! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, Are you ready for your, right? your Dark Souls boss fight, Kali? Oh, God, okay. Oh, no! Oh, no. <laughs> oh Lord. Oh, God. This is not good. <laughs> At least I have a heal. A heal. Okay. Here's to Poodle, who is loud now, yeah. but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. So you probably have time to, to reload and, and uh, take another shot before it closes in on you. Okay, that's that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Close my window here. Where are we? Okay, that one will hit. That oh, will hit. Uh, <laughs> five more damage. So that's 15, 20, 20 damage on it. Oof. Okay. Oh. Yeah, it continues to charge, uh, and it makes a it makes a gore attack on you. Now, where? Oh my god! I need to go all the way back and open up my uh, my first session document and the find the stats. Find yeah, the stats like... for Gut Ripper. <laughs> right. Yeah. Um, and then whatever Shiraz did to it. Oh god. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Oh, no. Yeah. Okay, and it charges straight at you, just screeching and roaring, uh, and attempts to gore you with its tusks. And it rolled a it rolled a fifteen. Ooh, yep, that hits. I mean, I didn't think that the solo encounters would be like murdering the players. Well, <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna make Shiraz wait two sessions for for his no. uh mutation redeem he's already waited for it. oh it's okay i've got some ideas for another character oh, oh thank god really bad <laughs> oh, that was... almost as badly as it possibly <laughs> could immediately oh. like uh, it's okay i got a backup character that's so it kind of it kind of doesn't succeed in like skewering you with its tusk but it kind of swings its tusk and hits you with the side of the, and, and just sort of bounces you flying a little bit right what's your next move so you've been sent flying. You're I... on the ground. You come back up to your feet. <laughs> no, too soon. Is it? <laughs> in... <laughs> too soon. Is, is it in melee range yes. with me? Okay. I I didn't know if it had knocked me back. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm going to. Oh gosh. I mean, the the muskets on the ground. We're pulling out the dagger. We're gonna try to stab up into its. Because oh. I'm probably like laying on the ground. I'm gonna oh, try to stab up it. with the dagger and. Again Do it. to the face. <gasps> oh! And now let me double check Hunter's Mark. Does it? I don't. I assume it works with. I think it works with melee. Any? Whenever you hit it with a weapon attack. Okay. That's good. So. We got this. Oh, please, big damage. <laughs> please, please, please. Uh. <laughs> Oh god. That's a one on That's the dagger, one on by the, the way. Sorry. I'm uh, communicating. Oh. I'm communicating with uh, Vinyl. Who is helping me out mightily. That's a. Sorry, that's four piercing damage. Oh, one. One on, the, on, on a roll. Yeah, so but seven, uh, the dagger gets three seven damage, flat yeah. on my deck. So it's not, uh, it, it's not quite. Uh, you you manage to to find some purchase with your your dagger and and jam it into its flesh a little bit, and it roars in pain. It's looking very hurt, uh, but it's not quite out yet, and it swings its head over to the side again. Uh, oh, Oh wait. 
Maybe I roll out of the way. Yeah, you roll out of the way. <laughs> you, you, and its tusk sort of just sails right over your head, and you're up again. Oh, hold on. Okay, I just realized this is concentration. I need to roll a um, oh. a, a constitution. Yeah. Is that a saving throw? Yes. It's a How does that work on constitution? Save. Okay. Okay. To see if I keep up the. Uh... Oh, I don't nope. think you do. No. So we should subtract the yep. three damage from yep. the last hit. So, okay. okay. All right, that's good to know. Shit, that sucks. Yeah. All right. Uh, well, <laughs> I, I, as I dodge out of the way, I'm going to uh, try to hop up to my feet and, and stab it in the side if I can. Go for it. Let's see what we get here. Huh? Yeah. I'm going to scream, you'll never get me! <laughs> You're going down! <laughs> there it is. That's what I was looking for. Uh, the scream. It, it, you stab into it, uh, and once again, like, you're, you're holding on to it for dear life. Uh, it's, it's, like, it's screeches have turned into, like, you know, there's a wheezing quality to it. It's, it's breath is coming heavy and sounds wet. Uh, it shakes its tusks at you again. 13, roll. No, it that doesn't does not hit. hit. So it's trying to shake Barely. you off, shake you off. Uh, you get another attack in on it. All right, and I'm gonna. Come on, uh, I'm, go I'm gonna scream. Um, this is for Lumbril. Oh. Stab <laughs> in. Oh! Did he do it? And you stab into it one more time, and it goes right into its eye. And you you feel the whole massive body tremor beneath you, and suddenly collapse to the ground. You did it! Oh my God! And you have <laughs> you have oh my, slain so Gut Ripper. Oh my so God! Oh, oh, thank goodness. <laughs> If I could do something. <laughs> All right. Um, so what Foodle wants to do, I don't know how reasonable yeah. this is, but Foodle wants to, um, you know, as he's done many times with much smaller boar or, or animals, I guess, um, is he wants to, you know, fully carve this thing up and try to bring, like, the skin and whatever meat he can. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and you can't, like, this mutated boar, you can't carry it all back home like you can oh gosh you can yeah it. probably here's what you can do you're you're able to saw its head off and bring Ooh. it back to town oh my as God. a trophy like a trophy yeah and uh you're you able got an item redeem in chat as did well get an sloth. item redeem oh from well it might not be for me but yeah but Sloth, uh, but thank you, you so much. You did get one from Jay Chili. And that useful mundane item is uh, you you keep one of Tusk Ripper's, Gut Ripper's tusks for yourself. Yes. And, and you're going to be able nice. in the future, I need some time to think about this, Jay Chili. Uh, but in the future, you are going to be able to make something out of this tusk. Uh, and so that's that's kind of nice. one thing that you kind of keep for yourself that you can sort of carry on you. Um, so add a add a mutated tusk to your inventory for now. At, at uh, what weight? One half? What do? You... Sorry. Uh, weight. 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 Sorry. Uh, call it I a could... pound. How much would it weigh? Call it one pound. Okay. It's a it's right. a big boy. Uh, and at the yeah. site okay. at the site of little foodle. Wandering right. back into town <laughs> with, uh, I just need to. <laughs> Thank you, Sloth. I've made note of that. We might not, uh, we might not get to that in this session, Sloth, but it will be added, and I made a note of it. Uh, so at the sight of Foodle coming back into town with this boar's head as a trophy 
held aloft with like blood and gore dripping out of it uh you're you're quickly able to enlist the help of uh, a couple other uh woodsmen to to uh a couple other forester folk to run out into the woods and and help you uh skin and butcher the creature Strip it. um yeah and take all of the things. your take from it so they they take you know they take a little bit of a take from it right you, you know they take a little bit of payment uh your take from uh what you're able to to um first of all you keep some of the meat and um add Jerky. we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna figure out a way to make like a common inventory between you uh but basically you add uh 20 rations to uh you you basically wow. make enough dried and cured meat to to count for 20 rations uh Four which is gonna save you a lot of cash <laughs> uh you <laughs> from selling the hide and you know other other bits and organs to you know the apothecary uh a a sort of weaselly and uh and, and unpleasant oh, individual named nestor kane uh who wants like the brain and the heart and the liver and all this stuff for for his weird experiments out of his uh, apothecary's wagon um you are able to pocket 60 gold pieces nice that's amazing and you forever get the uh the the respect of people for being the the slayer of gut ripper okay so you know uh, one thing that foodle definitely wants to do you know AI, you know foodle's gonna thank you so much for the help you know here's your cut you know that sort of thing and then he really wants to go show the head to um to his mom who's in the uh um and in, in the caravan because sure. because she would have known um he's told her when they were in the refugee camp about what uh, one shoe had tasked him yeah. with and that sort of thing you know the day of and and so he wants his mom to see that he gotcha. finally did it okay so, anyway. and, and so oh, what what uh cool. what what sort of general age range would you put the mom in like is she middle-aged is she elderly I don't know enough about. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, you're yeah. not asking. Yeah. Okay. Uh, she would be. Um, I'd imagine at least twice as old as Foodle. So Foodle is 42. Um, and and gnomes reach adulthood in around 40ish. Okay. So, so she'd be. she's probably 80 to 90, maybe even 100. So she'd something. be like. But they can live like 300 like years. Mid, mid 50s, mid 50s in terms of like in human years. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, you you come up and and you know she's she's in her wagon, uh, preparing preparing the the evening meal, and all that, and she. Oh, Foodle, welcome home, dear. Needles, look, I did it! I finally did it. You might not remember, but. Do you remember me telling you about one shoe the morning of the attack? Yes. She sent me to become a real hunter. Yes. And uh and and she sent me after oh god uh gut ripper. Gut, gut, gut ripper. And this is gut ripper. I did it, mom, I did it. That's gut ripper? You're such a good boy. Yeah. I thought, I and, thought the goblins killed it. I assume so too, but I checked uh he had deep deep inside he had a is this actually dm i should check with you it like is it actually gut ripper it like because there would be a musket ball because i yes. hit him like yeah. way yep, back yep, yep, okay yep, it is. Right. and i checked it was actually him look here's his tusk that, and she and she reaches out and she holds it in her hands and you see her eyes just well up because this isn't just her little boy, you know, becoming a man and, and proving himself a hunter. This is so many other things and everything that has happened after that and, and the disappearance of the rest of your family uh, all started with that moment. Uh, and and um, 
overcome with emotion. Your your mother just wraps you in the tightest hug that a mother could ever give to her child. And she and just, I, I'm gonna return she it. just whispers, her voice quivering as she's openly weeping. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud Thanks, of you, my Mom. boy. I I just wanted you to know that I'm gonna do my best to take care of you and this caravan and and I promise you I'm I'm gonna repeat the promise I made to you as we left Ilian. I I'm gonna find what happened to one shoe and uh and dad's sawtooth and of course uncle uh uncle silver tongue i'm gonna find out what happened to them oh dear if they could be here to see you they would be so proud of you thanks mom i know we'll find that someday. pure and Poodle's just gonna snuggle in for a bit as they And she and she has no idea that he's like this little psychopath who just like... <laughs> <laughs> right? Right? Just, just her sweet little boy. So <laughs> oh my at the same time though, he is the most pure. My my he's... little foodle couldn't harm a fly. <laughs> I think I was muted. I think I was muted. I was like, "Excuse me, ma'am, your son's a cannibal." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I'm told that we've reached our usual target. Um, we're halfway through Poodle's thing. I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna put it to to you, the players, what you want to do. Uh, we've got one more thing for Poodle. We could call it here. Uh, but but it's up to you guys. Uh, I I can do. Um, oh shoot! I was gonna say another half hour, right. but that might be that might be a bit much. Yeah. I know because I know we're gonna like chat yeah. after and we'll so why don't somebody and... yeah so why don't why don't we call it there. Um, yeah, and um, a certain once amongst us still needs to finish some homework before. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Aww. <laughs> yeah. Leader. Well, folks. You should go to bed and wake up early and finish that homework. <laughs> like, oh my goodness. I just, I just opened up the chat again to see Will say... And then there's, there's the so other much. wife. I have no idea what. It, yeah, like, what, what, what does that mean? That what does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean? Oh, and then there's the other wife. <laughs> yeah, I should mention I I'm using, um, because no the gnomes of this village that I come from <laughs> they they use their uh, uh, nicknames for each other. So Needles is my mom, uh, Sawtooth is my dad, and then my aunt and uncle are uh, One Shoe and Silver Tongue, respectively. So that's who Foodle was talking about. Anyway, I no, I think he's talking chat. about Ghost's wife oh. and God. the secondary one. Oh, chat. <laughs> oh. Through the chat. oh, okay. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. That makes more sense. <laughs> um, what didn't what didn't I add? Megan said I didn't add something. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Anyway, <laughs> chat like and and no. you and you guys. Oh, I am God. so sorry that this was such a scuffed stream. Like, oh, oh it's my okay. goodness! It can't I control don't know what, what Discord is doing to my computer. That's the whole thing. Uh, what is it you yeah. said? I will say if not if nothing else, we discover that we do have a solid backup. If uh, Discord yeah. is it doing must yeah, features, it must so. be a default setting because Ghost wouldn't have added that. What didn't I add? Yeah, I don't know what you're. Oh, doing. like whatever it's Discord. Whatever doing, Discord's. Think, oh yeah, I didn't change anything with yeah. Discord. It was it must be default. It was um, yeah, like it was taking up sixty percent of my my. CPU capacity just all of a sudden. Oh, auto modding in Twitch. Okay, I'll have to take a look at that. Oh, yeah. She get my auto mod picked up a word that I don't think it was even a Weird. word the other day. So I gotta tell you Weird. guys. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I mean, I had fun. I was hoping we would get through this in this session. Um. But obviously, yeah. obviously, it with like an hour and a quarter down the drain, um, right? But yeah, 
I, I'm just I'm just frustrated, but you know, I'm just frustrated with everything today, so that's life. Uh but it's all that's, good. A, that's all right. We'll get it. We'll get I'm it. I'm sorry, time. Ghost. Yeah, it's it all happens. Good. We'll get it, you know. And and I just want to read the leader is that. heading to bed. Say oh, yeah. good night, leader. Good night, leader. Night leader. No, Goldra, we haven't gotten to all of your free time yet. No. Yeah, no, no, yeah. don't worry. You got yeah, plenty you got, of time. Yeah, your free time is not just helping me no, doing no, my no, free no, time. No, still got you next yeah, week. No. <laughs> you, you got, you got more, and we've got Kiona's yeah. stuff too as well. Yeah, but do your homework first. <laughs> and get some rest. Yeah, yeah. I, I drink some, I drink some water. Don't tell you to do your homework first. <laughs> 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 Listen, I'm not usually the one that tells you to do I your got, homework. I got so. some things to look into, and then he says, "In the game, <laughs> not not you in your stats course, but <laughs> but then do your homework. Oh, man. Turn it in, pass your classes. That's night all you need. Cereal is the best. Cereal. It's important. Refreshing night cereal. Okay, and I'm gonna look into this gilded thing that uh, that Stokes sent me. And see if that yeah. uh, see if that's something that we can work with. Yeah, like watching your stream, you know, like you are nice and crisp and yeah. clear, and the rest of us are a little bit on the blue. You know what I mean? So yeah. it's like there's got to be a better video. It's such a weird situation, well, so, you know. So like, that's because it's pulling the video directly from my webcam, but the Google Meet is right. a lower quality sort of video feed than discord is yeah which is really unfortunate yeah. that discord decided to do this tonight um oh yeah it's so. crazy yeah I, I it's i feel like it has to be like a discord yeah it, it's gotta be because the last time we did this like also my yeah. leader and i got tossed from discord yeah. so it's gotta be like a weird yeah yeah discord's never done this before well, so what what happened, Will, is that Discord just decided to use 60% of my CPU, uh, and so my CPU is peaking out at like 90%, and yeah, so the, it was stuttering the, really the audio and the video was desyncing, and I was going into robot voice. We were. We were. Yeah, yeah we I have were. Nitro, and I've boosted yeah. my server, and like, I... Yeah, and then we tried, I don't know. And then we tried just a private call. That didn't work. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, but yeah. Well, Ghost, yeah. can I just say, you know, despite all the insanity, thank you so oh, much. Yeah. That was so <laughs> much fun. Oh, that's that's good. Yeah. That's good. I'm glad. I'm, I'm glad so you guys glad did. I survived Terraz's. Uh, so what? So oh did Poodle notice anything when he was carving up? Like, what was the? Uh... What was the mutation was the there? Muta there was just, something about Bert. He took a mutation all by himself. Oh, okay, okay. I just and, say, and that's... There's, there's something oddly delicious about the meat, but delicious in that way where you're like, this can't be good for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's our tank, so, yeah. I mean. Oh, yeah, and uh, did you guys, I, I put a message in chat for brevity, everyone take five rations. So just add five, take five rations, rations here. Yeah. Because at some point oh. during the two weeks, Foodle would have, you know, come around. And... Everybody's so nice. All oh, the jerky. Kiona loves jerky. Well, because yeah, I it, love jerky. Mazra, <laughs> if 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 I've got time, I'm coming and giving you a chat when when I'm delivering these. But <laughs> we'll see. I don't know how much we want to get into that. But so anyway. <laughs> so uh, Valkyr has rated me. A few times over the last couple of weeks and i feel like i need to return the favor so are we, are we okay with that for a raid yeah okay. oh yeah uh, for sure. she's playing overwatch right now so let's go raid val all right uh, uh val yeah, thanks for hanging out everybody here. oh my gosh Absolutely. everybody thanks thank for you sticking so around. much leader thanks for joining in with out. us uh, are and amazing. yeah, I appreciate everybody who stuck it out with us through the technical difficulties, through everything else that was happening. Um, student stream raiders too, and it's a boss battle. Okay, well let's go Ooh, go have some fun right. with stream raiders. That's perfect. Bye right. hey guys. Uh, and everybody, everybody, do <laughs> a uh, let's do let's do if you have the emotes, let's do Please like a uh, collie pog. Uh, no. <laughs> I love it. I love it. We gotta make Collie Pog the new Twitch Pog. Oh, 
you got it. <laughs> Everybody message Twitch and be like, and let's do a, a uh, there we go. What what should we call it? What should we call it? Mm-hmm. Oh, kitty. Chaos pog. We'll end the night with that. Chaos collie. Chaos. Chaos collie. Pog raid. Pog, pog, pog pepper. Yeah, I wish. Pog pepper. Pog pepper. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yes. There. Final. There we go. That there's there's the one. Let's do it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Oh, it doesn't work. Whatever. All right. Oh, yeah, wait. Did mine work? Okay, good. There oh, wait. Go. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do is that. Okay. <laughs> okay. Seven seconds till raid. Have a fantastic Bye. evening, everybody. We love you guys. Love See you. Bye. Thank you so much. All right. Uh, let, me, let me hold on. Don't say anything until we end the stream.